hello! It is time again for NES games alphabetically. We are now on the letter S. Now I'm not gonna get through all of these games in uh, in letter S in one stream because it's a lot. There are a lot of games that start with the letter S as you guys probably could have guessed. So we'll see how many we get through tonight and then we'll just keep on going. So here we go. Letter S starting with scat. Special Cybernetic what? I never knew the whole name of it. Let's see. From the Tsumi. It's usually a good sign. I've played this before. I don't hate this game. I think it's I think it's fine. Special Cybernetic Attack Team. That's what it stands for. That the, just that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Emergency, emergency! Alien forces are attacking from sector E804. All military personnel to mount a counteroffensive. Was Wolfmaster lying about Mario Kart? <laughs> look at look at them go. They're all lined up with their machine guns. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Should I go through the whole opening cutscene for Scat? Will I be the first person to sit through the whole opening cutscene for Scat? Thank you so much, ZephNV, for subscribing for 53 whole months. Thank you. 54 months. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Arnold, age 34. 6'4", 235. <sighs> Does he look trustworthy? I guess. All right. I'll, we'll start playing. So I guess it could be two-player, but we just have this guy, Arnold. Good old Arnold. Good old dependable Arnold. Wow. I don't like having that much pressure. The earth is counting on me. See, I missed I miss playing NES games because they just, you know, they don't sugarcoat it. They're like, everyone is gonna die if it's not, and it's up to you to save everyone. So don't fuck up. Ah. I'm like trying. I know I'm getting hit a lot. But whatever. Whatever. Ah. I like that it starts you out with like, you know, you're not you don't just have a pea shooter uh, starting out. Like you have like little missiles around you and other stuff, so you're not like totally alone. What if this game is great? I've played it before, but like I've never given it like a serious playthrough, you know? What killed me? Oh, I got stuck behind a thing that I didn't know was a obstacle. Is there a new Scott Pilgrim show? I didn't even know that because I kept seeing people on Twitter mention Scott Pilgrim and I was like, what if, like, why is everyone talking about that movie? So it's a show. Okay. I was so obsessed with Scott Pilgrim when that first came out. Holy moly. Oh, it's on Netflix? Okay. Yeah, I'm only doing the US games. Because if I did everything, we would be here forever. So I'm like, to make it a slight, slightly less daunting on myself, I'm like, let's just stick with uh, US only for now. Because I'm going to go crazy doing just this. <laughs> I think you can shoot. Can you shoot the projectiles? I don't know. I thought you could, but now I can't really tell. Maybe you can. Oh god. We got hit. But we must save Earth. from these fucking robot men. No, oh, wait, 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 I'm too close. I like that. 
I can't explain it. It looks like a nuclear symbol. Those things. Good sprite. <laughs> ah! Little jumpy robots. There's always jumpy robots and everything. And that's why the NES is great. Now, I don't know about Mario Wonder. I was gonna tweet about it, but I figured people would just get, like, mad. Because, like, you can't, like, voice an opinion about anything. Like, I really liked it starting out. Um, but then, like, I don't know. Like, last night, I just started getting bored with it. Like, when we got towards the end of the game, I just started getting bored. Um... I thought it's- I thought it looked really cool visually, like the lava and stuff, but I was just like, I'm kind of over this. So maybe I'll pick it back up and finish it on my own time, but I don't know, I was just like, I'm not feeling it, you know? I don't know. And I feel like I'm the only person- I feel like everyone's just like, it's so amazing, it's so good! And I'm like, what am I missing? Am I crazy? I mean, I know I'm crazy, so that could be it, but... People would say, Mike's rubbing off on you. And it's like, no, because I liked it a lot more than he did. I know, I know how the internet works. The Scott Pilgrim show is really good. Oh, cool. Sweet Home. Oh, yeah. Since that's Famicom only, I'm not going to get to that. That would be hard to do just a little bit of though. I feel like that's a game. I haven't played it, but from what I know about it, I feel like that's a game that you really have to, you know, dive into it and it's hard to just play a little bit of it, you know? So I guess it's like, it wouldn't be a great playthrough anyway, you know? Just wait until you get to the special world. That'll really spice things up. I do want to see the special world. It's just, I, I will unlock the special world. Mike loves dancing piranha plants. He hated those. I love those. When I saw that in like what the second stage when they all start singing and dancing, I gasped out loud because I was watching his stream and I saw that and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> so I knew they were coming when I went to play it. But like what made him turn it off made me go, oh my God, that's amazing. So that was one of my favorite parts of that. And then the little popcorn enemies, I thought they were really cute. So yeah. Anyway, so that's scat. I'll move on to section Z. I almost said sector Z. I keep reading it. I re like today I just briefly looked through what I was going to get myself into and I kept thinking sector Z, but it's section Z. I feel like sector, sector Z would be better. Oh, Sector Z is Star Fox. See, I don't know much about Star Fox. I had Star Fox 64 growing up. I was terrible at it, but I enjoyed it. Um, but when it comes to like other Star Fox, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything. Nothing. Hello, Breakpoint. You like the dancing piranha plants a little? I like that there was a lot of piranha plants in the game because, um. I like piranha plants. I think they're cool enemies, especially because Yoshi's Island, I think, made me really like them because, you know, they did other stuff with them than what the Mario games would do. So now they're doing that again with Mario Wonder. They're, like, just making them do more stuff. And I, I think it's cool. I was having trouble with it, but the thing where you throw a piranha plant, like a vine to a wall, like that power up, I was having trouble with it, but I'm like, that's a cool mechanic. Okay, so section Z. The talking between the characters of Star Fox is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the one on Super Nintendo? Oh god. Whoa, whoa, this is going so fast. I can't control the one on Super Nintendo at all. Like, I just, I can't play that game. Well, we're in space now. Oh my god. This moves really fast. Oh. Shit. Okay, so you can take- a, it's not a one-hit death kind of thing, so that's good, I guess. How am I gonna get past that? Oh my god. We fell to our death. We'll try it again. Hey, Suave Chris, we're good. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well. Oh 
Oh, shit. Can I get, like, a power-up? Oh. There we go. What does that do? Okay. Oh, my god. We are being transported, teleported. But look at his little legs when he walk. That's funny. I should have I should look at who made this. It's like it's nothing special, but it's playable. It's fine. You want Mike to start an ASMR channel? You want him to whisper and like tap objects against a microphone? I I'd watch that. He can pretend he's your doctor and he's giving you a checkup. Is it Capcom? Let me see. Oh, it is Capcom. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was something else. Yes, this is Section Z. You know, I really have to say that I love you all. Elmo loves you all. Bert and Ernie love you all. And especially, especially Ernie. He's in the bathtub telling me right now how much he loves you all and playing with his rubber ducky. <laughs> there you go. You're listening on phones. It was sexy. Great. Well, I hope every <laughs> someone <laughs> Ecto Cooler is like, God? <laughs> yes, that was God talking to all of you. Anyway, so that was section Z. <laughs> now it's time. See? It, it scared you. It gotta wake you up. You never know what's gonna happen. You got the tingles going? Well, that's great. I hope everyone has the tingles now. And now we're gonna play Sick Cross. I know Sick Cross gives me tingles. That's gonna be taken wrong. But I said it. Anyway, the fuck? Who made this? FCI? Nihon Bus? I don't know. Let's just play this. This looks like in the future, there's grids. Okay, so we save him, right? I'm guessing. I don't know what that crystal ball is in the middle. But I guess we're killing everyone else. We're just straight up shooting our opponents. This is like, in the future, everyone has to fight to survive. And everyone has speed bikes. And there's grids and space. And I'm like trying to save people. The music's funny. It's so like... Yay! Satellites or something in the middle? I don't know. Oh, those are like- I thought those were rocks. Those are like fossils. That was like a lizard fossil. Oh my god, look at all these people. Save them all. Yeah! Oh, sorry dude. I couldn't save you. How come all these other people aren't helping? How come I'm the only people, only person that's saving all these dudes? Are all these people bad? Don't run into me. Oh my god. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I didn't save that guy. I feel bad for every, like, pe person I don't save, I feel bad. Like, in Jackal, I always feel guilty if I accidentally leave someone behind. I want to put them all in my little jeep. Oh, I- I was looking at the wrong guy. <laughs> oh, shit. See, I want to touch the- Okay. Because there was one crystal ball that didn't have a thing around it. And so I was going to try to touch it, but I missed it. Are they on mopeds? I don't know. I guess so. Extreme bumper cars. Yeah, C-Cross. 
FCI also published Lunar Pool, Dr. Chaos, and Hyde Light. Oh, geez. Alright, well, that's that. I guess I'll move on from Sacross. Oh, God. Now it's time for Sesame Street games. I am dreading playing these. I don't want to play these, but I ha but I must. I have to. All right, Sesame Street, one, two, three. Let me know if it's loud enough, because I want you. I want to be sure you guys hear the audio. Astro Grover or Ernie's Magic Shapes. Which one should we play? Let's go with Ernie's Magic Shapes. How to play Presto the sh wait what? Oh these are all the different ones. Ta-da, what a figure. Let's match the shapes. Hello, I take the square. Oh, wait, how do I change the shapes? Oh. That's the same. Penis Inspector, yes, it's Ernie the Penis Inspector. Hello, Chaluminati. Alright, let's see if we can match more shapes, guys. Oh, I don't think that one. Close, but that looks a little rounder. No, I think that one. They both look like footballs. Hello, Elraz. Oh, look at the bunny. He waves. Look how happy Ernie is. He's so proud of us. Hmm. So this is, this is all this is. There, I turned it up a bit. All right. Let's see. Let's play some of the other games on here. Because there was more than just that one. Oh, wait. Let's do... Ta-da! What? Wait. Harder shape matching? Wait. No, why is it going up? I'm pressing down. Okay. Hardest of all. Let's do this one. This is gonna be really hard, you guys. Okay, not that. I don't think it's that one. No. Close. No. Do I like press that and then I get the other shapes? Oh, and then you have to pick the other shapes. This is tougher. Am I gonna have to pick those out three times? Oh, fuck that. Hello, Sam Bat. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, see, that's one good thing about going through all these NES games. You find things that you probably would never bother to look at. At least I I know I found some things where I was like, I would never have thought to play that. Alright, now it's time for Astro Grover. Beam that number. Take it away. Some up, some down. Oh, this is gonna be like about numbers. Let's do beam that number. I want to laser beam numbers. Ernie's a dark wizard. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the aliens! What's happening? I don't know what I do. I don't get this. Your stream turned me on to the low gravity man. Oh cool, I like that game. And hello Midnight Snowman. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this cause I think, whatever. Cause we have a lot more. Sesame Street, ABC, and one, two, three. Let's try this one. Grover shook his head at you disapprovingly. I know he looks so like disappointed in me. He's like, you should know how to play this. 
We already played a Steinex. I've streamed that before. I think I did a video on it too. Am I gonna play Super Mario RPG? If if I play it, I'll probably just play the original. Cause I still haven't played it. So I'd probably just play the original. I don't know. Hello, Nuff Dragon. Astro Grover's on this too. And Urgic Ernie's magic shape. So this is like this has everything. Let's play Ernie's Big Splash. I'm sure he'll he'll want us to play this one because it involves the tub. There goes his rubby ducky. Rubber ducky. I can't speak. Ernie's challenge. Ernie's fun challenge or Ernie's super challenge. Well, I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I'm going to choose Ernie's challenge. <laughs> See, it looks like our bathroom. All right. So what do I have to do here? Um... I don't understand. Oh! Oh, you're moving the duck to him. Okay. No, not like that. There we go. To here. All right. I think we're about to we're about to get the ducky to Ernie. Oh, what what are you playing here? We're playing Who? Ernie's challenge or something. What kind What kind of game? Do, wait, that looks like me. It is you. I didn't approve this. You did it? No. <gasps> they said it was official. I I'm gonna get a lawyer. You should do that. I mean, it might be too late because this is from like 1986 or something. But what, what year is it now? Uh, 2023. Uh, sue you then. Why sue me? I'm not doing no, anything. No, because I'm I'm on your television. Yeah, but you, don't you make money you doing live, this? You live in my house. Don't you make mo money doing this? You take all my money with your bills you're racking up. How do I, how do I rack up bills? You're in the bath all the time running what water. That, what does that have to do with me being on your television? That's what you have to put up with if you want to stay in this house. Give me money. No. Give me money. Go take it from Elmo. Yeah. Oh, Elmo has a lot of money. Yeah, go steal it from him. Oh, okay. Right. Anyway. <laughs> Everyone's like, Ernie, yay! Elmo! All right, let's try to get the rubber ducky to Ernie. Money. We did it. Oh my god. I think there was commotion over there. I didn't hear it all, but I think he tried to take it from... Oh, look how happy he is. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Well, there's a commotion happening. <laughs> anyway. So that's Ernie's bath time, whatever. And now it's time for Sesame Street ABC. I bet this is going to have some of the same games on it. <sighs> let her go round. Okay, we played Ernie's Big Splash. So now let's try uh, let her go round. Oh my god. Okay, uppercase matching, lowercase matching, mixed case matching. I think, I think we can handle both lower and upper, uppercase, right? All right, so I gotta match the letter R. How do I select it? Oh, just, okay. Yay, this is great. Abadox is another good game that's pretty hard. Yeah, Abadox is fun, but yeah, it's tough. All right, lowercase z. No! See, this is more about, it's less about matching and more about timing it right to when the z is above the circle. There we go. You got this, thank you, Kanor. <laughs> oh, there he goes. 
All right, one more, and then we'll switch games. Lowercase j. Boink, boink, boink. Ding. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my life. I, the, the moments like, oh, he's dancing now. Bert's dancing. I just have, like, out of body experiences every once in a while, which you guys, you, you guys have been here for a lot of them. And I just had one. I'm like, I just turned 36. I'm sitting in a chair streaming a Sesame Street game on the Nintendo Entertainment System and you guys are hanging out with me. And this is what I do. And you know what? I like it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kanor, for subscribing for four months. Thank you so much. Brittany is still ripped. She is. She has a fantastic body. It's crazy. It is a fun time. We are on S. We are not going back to A and B. Yeah, so we previously, I took a break from doing the alphabetical streams for a bit, and we did Castlevania Adventure Rebirth, and I played some Mario Wonder. But we are back into the NES alphabetical streams, and we are now on letter S. So if you're new or whatever, we already did those. I put them up on my YouTube channel, the um, my stream one, which is Aaron Plays Extras. So they're all on there. I do mean Britney Spears, yes. We signed up for this kind of content. Well, that's good, Wolfmaster. So you, you guys know what you're in for. Little Samson has an S in it. Okay, so let me say something about that. So when I was going through letter L, I missed Little Samson because it wasn't on my EverDrive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... At the end of this, when we're done, I'm going to go through all the ones I missed because I think there were some other ones I missed and I wrote them down somewhere. And then we'll do all the ones I missed later. Because if someone tuned in now and I was playing Little Samson, they'd be like, what's happening? And then I would just have to keep explaining it. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you so much, Shishi Vids, for subscribing for 42 whole months. Thank you. Meep, meep. Beaker. Meep, 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 meep. What? What? Meep. What? Meep, 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 meep. Little meep. Samson. Meep, meep. You got little Samson? Me! Where did you get this? This is rare. Me, 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 me. Oh, did you take it from Mike? Me. Oh, okay. Don't let Elmo see this because he'll try to pawn it for drugs. Me. So be careful. Me, 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 me. Did he already try to take it from me, you? He, oh, he, well, me. Be careful. Me. Do you want me to keep this? I'll keep this over here. Me, me. All right. So anyway, we're back with. El Elmo. Hey, what the hell over there? Don't worry about it. Can I see that? It's just a crappy game. I need it for something. No, I don't think you do. I do. There's a guy out on the street, and he says he give me money for it, and I had no more money because Ernie just went and took all my money. This is what I tell you every time, and it works. You go to CVS and you beg people for money. They always give it to you there for some reason. No, that's stupid. I give me little stamps no, and I sell it. No, no, no. I make so much more money, and then I won't bother you for... For at least until Christmas for the money. How about if I give it to you, you don't bother me until New Year's? Uh, what about Christmas? You can wait a few more days past Christmas, can't you? Don't you want little uh, Samson? Uh, all, right, all right, all right. All right, all right, you have a deal. All right, there Bye. you go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that bought me some time. Anyway. Uh, thank you so much, Weirdo Tom, for gifting a sub to Link to the Shaft. Thank you. And this you. game bought me a whole lot of blow. Oh, ah. Jesus Christ. What What am I encouraging? What's the rating on the little Samson game quality? Oh, my God. I'm not going to get my games rated. No. Thank you so much, Sammy Shehole, for gifting a sub to uh, Midnight Snowman. Thank you so much. You want an AI automated Elmo that walks around your house and randomly comments on things? That would probably get terrifying real quick. Like he'd become like self-aware and then it would just be bad. Elmo. I am the AI automated Elmo. What? I 
am AI, Automated Elmo. How can I be of service? What do you want me to say? Would you be like that? I'll do it if you pay me. Yeah, he'll do anything if you pay him. I'll do anything for money. Yeah. I'll do anything okay, for okay, money. Okay, okay, okay. It's getting inappropriate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so now it's time for Sesame Street Big Bird's Hide and Speak. Hello, Eric. High Tech presents. Everyone loves high tech. <sighs> Once he becomes self-aware, you'll just send him over to his neighbor's house? Okay, well, that, that's fine. Thank you so much, Elrez. Oh, we have a hype train going? I haven't even, I didn't even know. Thank you, guys. Oh, shoot, we do have a level one hype train going. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. It's a, okay, so it's a little glitched. And it looks like Ernie's drooling and is crying. <laughs> it looks like he's drooling and crying. <laughs> what happened? And then Grover looks like he had some of his face ripped off. <sighs> I think the funniest moment you ever had with Elmo was running, was talking about the sound of the crescent rolls popping. <laughs> I don't remember that. I need to try to find that because that sounds, that sounds like something he would talk about because he knows I hate, I hate the sound of the pop of the crescent rolls. It's startling. I don't like it. And Elmo would like it because he's demonic. All right, so let's start. Oh, we've played this before. Somebody has. There they all go and they're all orange for some reason. I laughed more the past 15 minutes than I have this week. Thank you. I'm so glad, Kanor. Oh my god, Big Bird's green. This is, this is messed up. These colors are not correct. Elmo. Okay, let's see if we can remember where all these people are. Ready? Yeah, I think I'm ready. I gotta remember where all they are. Where all the, ah. You call my name? No. I thought you said Elmo. I forgot where Elmo was. I'm right here. Where was Elmo? Was he down I'm here? I'm here! We're trying to find you in the game. There you are! That looks like Big Bird, but Big Bird looks green! I know, because the colors are screwed up. Why is Big Bird green? Is he sick? Now, Big Bird gonna throw up! Who did he say to find? I couldn't hear. He probably said find Elmo. I think he said the I'm count. right here! Elmo's right Shh, here! Shh, quiet, indoor voice. I can't hear Emma, the game. Emma, You're making me fail. This Emma game for preschoolers. It's right here. Ow! Don't do that to my nose. But it's fun. Don't do that to me. You know I'm famous, don't you? Do you? You even know who I am? Unfortunately, yes. You do. Thank you, Weirdo Tom, for gifting a sub to Tigerbug. Thanks so much. Big Bird's famous too. You know he had his own record. Oh, he did. Yeah, check it out. See, look, there he is. <laughs> Wow. Big Bird oh, famous. A disco, sesame disco. Yeah, get down. That's great. Do you like this <laughs> record? Do you think it's good? Uh, I like the soundtrack good. to Shrek 3. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot. You have a thing about that. I, I downloaded it off Kazaa. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you remember Kazaa. You're, you're a man of culture. Is that Ernie on there? Yep, he's right there at the bottom wearing a turtleneck looking I gotta go cool. find Ernie. He can take all my money. All right, go go find Ernie. That's okay. I'm gonna go sell that game. Okay. Bye. Bye. Elmo is not in the cover. Can you tell him? I think it was before Elmo came to be. I could be wrong. <sighs> okay, so I don't know what to do since we don't know who we're looking for. Let's. Oh, we gotta find Grover. There he is. He probably knocked down my cherry light. I know he probably did. Bert. I think Bert is down here. No, that was Elmo. I screwed up. Well, let's try the next one. Find 
I just look over at the chat and Tigerbug in all caps says, oh boy, you found Grover. <laughs> well, so, well, see, this is what happened to Big, Bo Big Bird. He fell into a chemical vat, kind of like the Joker. Great. Hello, I am Weasel. I remember Kazaa with the 56k yeah. modem took hours to download a song. Yup, those were the days. Oh my god. You know, Ernie is- There's so much happening right now, I'm overstimulated. Elmo's not the only one that's famous, you know. I'm famous too. You are famous. Everyone knows your Rubber Ducky song and- Oh! Oh, do you have a record too? Have you ever- have you ever heard my record? I have not. What's your record? Ooh, look at that. Ernie and Bert, look at that picture. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about this record, can you hold that up for a second? Yes. The only thing I don't like about this record is, is I don't like this, this guy over here. You don't here. like Bert? No. Why don't you like Bert? I think it should just be more like, excuse me, move that down a little bit. Yeah, I think it should be like that. Oh, like just Ernie and Ernie? Two Ernies? No, that's a good idea. It wow. could be called Ernie's Greatest Hits. Except, wait a second, I already did that. Did you? What's <laughs> Oh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, Ernie's Greatest Hits. Wow. Oh, and you're wearing the same shirt. That's the only shirt I have. Well, I don't know. I saw you in a turtleneck on that disco one. See, the thing is, when you're really, really clean, yes. you only need to wear one outfit. I guess you're right. Because if you're never dirty, you don't need to change your clothes. Wow, you, you got the secret. And if you're super clean, you never need to wash down there either. Because it's already clean. Okay, well, that's good. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah. Hey, why is Big Bird green? I don't know. It's a, it's is he up. sick? Yes. Should I go get the pills? Don't get the pills. Elmo, where's the pills? Take your records and Elmo. calm down. I got the pills. I got all the pills. Oh, my God. All right. So that's whatever this one was. And now for the last Sesame Street game, Sesame Street Countdown. More high-tech expressions. Yeah, high tech expressions, it's always. Oh, look at this. Oh, is this like a side scroller? You hop and run, okay. The hell? Oh, this got. <laughs> look at It's possessed. The ROM is possessed. Let's play it anyway. Oh, that's the number nine. You don't want that. This is very cursed. This whole stream is cursed. Oh my god. Oh, the fish. All right, well, I think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is broken. So we're just gonna skip that one. And now it's time for Shadow of the Ninja. This was one of the first Aaron Plays videos I ever made was on Shadow of the Ninja. And I used to really like it. And the past few times I've played this game, I'm kind of like, eh, do I really like it? I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just, why is it screwed up? I just, I cleaned the contacts on the NES like before I started streaming. Okay, so we were on Shadow of the Ninja. I didn't. I did not get the Super Mario RPG uh, remake. No. I'll play it eventually, probably, but I'll probably play just the regular Super Mario RPG. I don't know. We'll see when that time comes. Which version I will play. Okay, so we are on Shadow of the Ninja. Let's try this again. <laughs> Good old Natsumi. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, this was one of the first videos I did on Aaron Plays. Um, I like this game. I've never beaten it. I've gotten to the final boss, but I've never actually beaten it. 
Um, I think it's pretty good. It's just the last few times I've played it, I haven't enjoyed it much. But it's been a long time since I've played this, so. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll play a little bit of it. I recommend it. If you haven't played it, though, you should play it. I feel like I always get the hook shot here, and I don't like the hook shot because it sucks for like enemies that are close. But then I feel like a lot of people like the hook shot. So I don't know. And you get the, you get the little like <clears throat> out of those boxes is where you get the um, items. I can't think of words tonight. Ah shit! I got no. I did it. Did I get the hook shot? No. Uh, let's go right down here. Oh, I think I only have so many stars, and then it goes to uh this to, to the hook shot. But I could be wrong. Yeah, see, Ugh. I don't like it. Okay, there we go. That's a good. That was sloppy, but we did it. Am I a Sonic the Hedgehog fan? I never got super into Sonic. Um, you know, I didn't grow up with uh, Genesis, but I, you know, obviously now I have played some Sonic. I think the music's really good and I like the vibe of it. I just never got really into it. But you know which one I kind of want to play? The one with the uh, I forget what they're called, but people like post pictures of it a lot, and it's just, it's the something garden, and it just looks so chill and relaxing, like sometimes people make like video game, like chill playlists, and they always have that, chow, am I saying it right, the chow garden, and I just, Sonic Adventure 2, okay, I just think that looks like so relaxing, and I just like the vibe, and I'm like, I want to play that. The Olive Garden, that would be cool if there was a Sonic game that took place at the Olive Garden. I, I'd play the hell out of that. More hook shots. But yeah. Ooh, a sword, much better. Oh shit, get up there. We're gonna die. I was too busy thinking of video game characters. I can't think of the name of. Ah, oh, shit. I got stuck. Does Olive Garden sell chili dogs? Not that I know of. No. When you're here, you're family. Exactly. Olive Garden does have good breadsticks. People act like they're too good for Olive Garden, and it's like, no one's too good for Olive Garden. No. Shut up. It's good. Let me live my life. I hate these, like, football guys. I wish I had lavender hair like that. That was one hair color I could not get to work. I tried lavender hair and it just wouldn't, like, stick and then I tried purple and then it would turn gray so I have given up on ever doing a purple shade of hair I think I, I did purple once in high school I had a purple streak in my hair and that was like the only time I found a purple dye that like worked and didn't turn gray I forgot about that you guys are making me remember random things I forgot about <laughs> How did I get into retro gaming? Well, I was always into like, I kept playing my like Super Nintendo and N64 all throughout like high school and stuff. And then I fell off of it for a bit. I started watching ABGN in like 2007, 2008, around there. 
and then that kind of got me in back into it and then I fell off again and then I got back into it and I would just start looking up more old consoles that I didn't have growing up like Pong consoles and Atari and stuff like that. So basically the internet helped me get back into that hobby. I am playing this like shit, but you get the idea. It's a good game. Cause like, I always had the Nintendo consoles. The only Nintendo console I didn't own growing up was the GameCube. But, you know, I had all the, um, oh shit, we're gonna die. But I had all the handhelds, so like, I was always playing like, Game Boy Advance or like, DS, stuff like that. Oh yeah, the new Atari 2600 Plus. Um, I think it's cool that it, I mean, playing Atari through like, like on a, on a, um, like a HD monitor, it just doesn't look that good in my opinion. But I think it's cool that it can also play real cartridges. Like, I think that's pretty interesting. So, I mean, I think it's cool that it exists. Did most of us just grow up with retro games? Yeah, it's like hard to answer that question because it's like, well, I got a Super Nintendo when it was still, new, like, a th current, and I had an N64 when it was current, and then I just kept going back to those, I guess, to the point they came, became retro, and then as I got older, I, like, dived deeper into it, so it's like, I don't know, it's a hard question. <clears throat> How did you and Elmo meet? Well, he just walked into my house one day and he, I'm like, how'd you get in here? And he's like, well, I have the skeleton key and it gets me into every house in the city. And I was like, that's terrifying. And then one thing led to another and now he kind of lives here, whether we like it or not. Yeah, Sammy, like, I don't know. There was just... Like, you know, there was just a short period where, like, I was still playing Game Boy Advance, but other than that, I was, like, I wasn't playing GameCube. And then when the Wii came out, then I got back into it. Elmo saw Aaron at CVS and followed her home. He, that's probably how he decided to come home with us. Sonic Adventure 2 was GameCube though. I'm not against the GameCube. I'm just saying I didn't own it growing up. So a lot of the GameCube stuff I haven't played yet. Um, like now I've played some GameCube stuff, but not a lot. <sighs> you have more tolerance for Elmo than I do. I guess patience just has grown on me. I don't know. <laughs> Hello game guy. All right, so that was Shadow of the Ninja, and now it's time for Shadowgate. So I'm not used to these kinds of games. I remember some stuff to do with this one because it's like popular, a lot of people know it, like I've seen people play it. But I might get stuck here and there, but we'll try it out. I remember you opened that skull on the top of the door. I remember that. The last thing you remember is standing before the wizard Lackmere as he waved his hands. Uh-oh. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies to the edge of a forest. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle, Shadowgate lies your quest. The dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoth from the dark depths. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. That's going to be my new uh, bio on everything. It's going to say the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. That's all people need to know. 
Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord. <laughs> warlock lord. That should be like... That should be my username on everything. Warlock Lord 69. Okay, so I like I said, I remember you the little skull at the top of the door. You op you like do something with it. You open it. I guess it would be open. Do I click that first and then I poke this, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then there's a key. As if by magic, the skull rises. Cool. Oh, now I have to say take, right? Let's take it. Take the key. You can't take it. Why? Did I accidentally poke the wrong thing? Can't you take the key? Oh, the key is in hand. Don't want to poke the wrong thing. Now, move. Do I have to open? Like, open. Yeah, the door is open. It's the door leading into the castle, Shadow Gate. Alright, let's go in. The door- oh. So I have to go... Move? Oh, this thingy. I pressed that, right? No, I know it's open! Let me in! I don't know what to do. Okay, uh, do I uncheck that? Huh. How do I go in there? Click move? Oh! Thank you. See, like I said, I'm not used to these kinds of games, so... Need your guys' help. Ooh, look at those eyes! That pitiful wizard, Lackmere, was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it, for the only thing here for you is a horrible death! The sound of manacle laughter echoes in your ears. That's Elmo laughing in the background if you hear the maniacal laughter. Alright, cool. Uh, let's move. Or wait, aren't we- we're supposed to take these thingies. Hold on. Take. The torch is in hand. Let's take this one too. This torch is in hand. Yay, two torches. Double fisting torches. All right, so now we're gonna move, and we're gonna go straight. Oh, I have to open the door first. Uh, okay, open. The door is locked. Oh, can I use the key that I got? Uh, and then I go up here, right? What do you want to use this on? The door. Click! The key worked! It unlocked the door! Yeah, I'm playing Shadowgate. Hello, Zen Arcades. Aaron secretly knows every detail of this game. I just know the beginning. The only Nintendo console you ever had was Super Nintendo. That was my first console ever. Thanks for hanging out, Elraz. Have a good night. Add this one to the list of do a full stream. Do you think I could do it? I mean, you guys are here to help in case I like get stuck. Cause like I said, I'm, these kind of games I don't really know how to use do so. But it would be fun. Okay, let's go in there. Move. The stone walls seem uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Uh oh. Okay, let's. This book. Let's look at the book. It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. Is it open? It won't open. Well, okay, the book is open and examined. A rectangular hole has been cut out of the inside of the book. I'll make a joke, but I won't. Alright, so let's move. Let's go that way. 
Uh-oh. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Ooh. Well, that's unpleasant to know. I forgot the key! Can I go back? Uh, do I have to open it again? The book is open and examined. So do I take? Or do I, do I, maybe I take it? Or do I have to look first? When you remove the book from its pedestal, the floor collapses and you fall to your death! I took the book and not the key and I died! <laughs> Hello, Drawn Unit Cycle. S has been quite the journey of a stream. It's been fun. I want to do this again. I want to try it again. I know this is a variety scream, stream, scream, but I want to try it again. What's up? Amo has a key! I know you do. If you need a key, I got a key. It fits in all the doors. That's how I live in this house. That's great. It's a skeleton key. I know. I have a skeleton right there! I know. Oh, God! Get a, yeah, ah! better get away. He doesn't like skeletons. He's very scared. Anyway, let's try this again. Continue. Oh, it starts you right here. Oh, okay, I thought I would have to start that all over. He should be scared of death. Might find to see a really silly, really silly skeleton? Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love him. That was the best purchase I've ever made. Look at them go in circles. I like it! Yeah, me too. Well, that was great. <laughs> anyway, I've officially lost my mind. What is happening? I don't know. That makes Aaron happy. <laughs> it does. Anyway. Uh, so I guess I go back and try to get the... Me, me! What? Me! What's wrong? Me, 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 me! You don't... You like it? What about it? You don't... You like it? Me! Yeah, me too. Beaker likes it. Look at him, he's so happy. Me! Yay! That makes Beaker happy. Which is good, because he's usually terrified and stressed out. Hello, Ryu. He's afraid the skeleton will want his key back. I know. This is the best variety scream ever. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back, I guess. I don't know if it saves that. I don't know. Okay, so now... Um, I guess I have to open the book again? Uh, now I look, maybe? Because how do I know there's a key? Whatever. Um. I don't understand. Look at the menu on the right. Oh, now I have the key. It says key two. So now I have... Wait. But it says I have it. I have key two. I don't have key two. How do I take key? Ugh. Oh, so do I go here and then I go to key two? Oh, okay. I thought I had to take it from the book. All right, thanks guys. Okay, so now we can move. Everyone's like, take key two! And we did not play Sonic because we're playing NES games. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain. I know about the poor mountain dwarves. I know. But like, what, what do you want? I can't. <sighs> okay, so let's open these doors. See what's inside. Ooh, the door is open. Let's open this one. I like to imagine I'm kicking down all these doors.
The door is open. Okay, so which door should we go into? Let's go into the door on the left. Because I feel like, it won't, like if we go to the one at the very end of the hall, it's going to be bad news. Right? <clears throat> so I'm going to go here. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and decay pervades the small chamber. I don't want to be in here. I want to get out. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Alright, well, let's, like, take, uh, the torches, right? You gotta take the torches. Alright, let's open this little trap door. Wait, ooh, what's this? Is this the thing to be open? Oh, it won't open. Okay. What about that? Ooh! Let's go down the ladder. Let's go down the ladder in the small room that smells like death. What could go wrong? Hello, Dig Dug Dumpling. A broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. As you go down the trapdoor, you realize you took a big step. The fall is quite fatal. Damn! It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Let's try it again. Let's go, let's go in the other one. Let's go to the right door. Oh, look at this. There's a shark and a skeleton. What the fuck is happening in this room? A shark swims by as if patrolling this calm pool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, can we open this tiny little door over here? Ooh, let's go in that door. What could go wrong? Sharks with freaking laser beams on their freaking heads. I bought this game at a used game store and the lady working there gave me a printed walkthrough. That's cool. Oh, the skeleton has a key? That totally is a key. You're right. Link to the shaft. You are correct. See, I wouldn't have noticed that. So let's go take. Let's take the key. Make sure I'm... You can't reach it from here. Swimming the shark-infested pool would be suicidal. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to do then. I think I'm gonna leave that key. So I'm just gonna go. We're gonna leave that key. And maybe we'll get a boat at some point. <laughs> maybe we'll build a boat. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool clean stream well that looks pleasant it looks kind of like uh pirates of the caribbean all right uh what if i like hit these rocks will they crumble pow ouch that's smart hmm i need a cold orb to freeze the water and get the key well we gotta find a cold orb I guess we can look. Let's look. What about, what's this? It is very dark. Oh, that's great. This landslide looks like it occurred ages ago. It would take you months to clear it away. Alright, well, let's get out of here then. Oh, there's that shark again. Alright, let's go out of here. And you know what we're gonna do? It's time to go to the, to the thing at the very end. We're gonna move to the door at the very end. This long cold hallway is lined on either side by half a dozen coffins. Ooh. Let's open one. Let's open this fancy looking one. The lid of the coffin is open. Ah! As you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. <laughs> You're all right, but it is very hard to hear. All right, well that was a surprise. What, what's under this door? The lid of the coffin is open. 
Oh, a mummy stands silently before you. Hello. Can I, like, look at it? This carefully embalmed six-footer stands straight and still. Alright, let's open this one. Ooh. It's a leather pouch. Let's take it. Maybe we'll need it. The bag too was taken. Cool. Your torch goes out with a fizzle. Oh, I didn't take the torch last time. With outstretched arms, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash! You fall face first into the floor. How embarrassing. Ah! It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. So I died by tripping over something? That's... That sucks. Tripped over a stick and died. Hmm. Well, that's a bummer. I want to keep going with this, but I'll save this for a full stream because I'm having a lot of fun with it. And we can have a whole stream of Shadowgate. Alright. Shatterhand. Yeah, I had fun with Shatterhand. I mean, Shadowgate. <laughs> Wait, do you like Shadowgate? I do like Shadowgate a lot. I had no idea I would like it that much. So I would like to do a whole stream of it for sure. I think I did a Shatterhand stream once, but I didn't get very far and I got like disgruntled and stopped. Deja Vu and the Uninvitable. So yeah, I, I liked Deja Vu a bit when we uh, tried that for the letter D. Uninvited, I've never tried, I don't think. Shadowgate speedrun is 10 minutes and 52 seconds. I believe it if you know what to do. Deja Vu 2 for the Game Boy. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a second one. Uninvited is just like Shadowgate. It's by the same developer. Okay. Well, that's cool. All right. Let's play some Shatterhand. I always get this confused with, um... I can't think of the title. Whew, sorry. Power Blade. Um, I did a video on Power Blade. I really like Power Blade. And this is a game that I've been meaning to like play through in its entirety for a very long time and I need to do that one day. I don't remember what the letters mean. I know when you get like three if like does something. And you can, like, get certain ones for different combinations. I don't know. We are punching through steel. Yeah, that's right. Now we did something. I forget what that does. Those are, like, Batman things. Oh, bomb! That was tricky. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, uh, this is a type of game I like. So I'll for sure play this. This is Natsu. Sorry I keep yawning. This is Natsumi also. Okay, so I have the letter- Whoa, I didn't see that. No, I wanted to step on the thingy. I'm dead. Oh yeah, those really tall robots. They're kind of creepy. Let's 
try it again. Are you kicking ass or vice versa? I'm gonna be positive and say I am kicking ass even though I just died. <laughs> there have been two sequels to the game. The first, Beyond Shadowgate, was released for the TurboGrafx-16 in 93, and the second, Shadowgate-64. I didn't know there was Shadowgate-64. That's interesting. I wonder how those are. Hmm. Interesting. This game is hard. Yeah, it seems a little tough. But, I don't know, this is a game I could see myself getting into and, like, trying to play through the whole thing. Because I like Batman and Power Blade and stuff like that. Ooh, we got three letter Bs. Oh, so you have to get the same letter three times in a row. Okay. For, like, a cool power-up, I guess. I don't know what that does when you like stand on that thing and it goes Whoop! I don't know what that does but I did it I think we got I don't know what we got we got something starts with a G gold perhaps gas gravy the bomb again. No, don't put it there. There we go. Okay, let's... So that, like... Oh, that gives us more health or whatever when you do that. Die! Oh, we lost our little friend. Oh, this is a fence we climb. Okay. you. That's right. You're scared. What? What? Exactly. Huh? Huh? You're gonna shoot me when my back is turned? Little bitch? <laughs> Why did I get so mad at that guy? Like the audacity to shoot me. right run away because he's a bitch that's right oh yay three bees bed bath and beyond Whee! now we're transporting to another place ooh boss battle I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Get off of there. That's right. Seeing robots reminded me that I kind of want to get the new Robocop game. Yeah, this is Shatterhand. I haven't really seen any of the new Robocop game, but it sounds like it's cool. Mike liked it. Oh, look at him. Oh yeah, now the game starts and then you pick your level. Let's do the one in the middle. Why not? You're 40% in the new Robocop game, that's cool. It takes place in the 80s, right? Like, it's not like a current Robocop game. I like that it's like, still in the 80s. I think that's cool. When, when, uh, games let you choose which level to play, I'm always worried I'm gonna like, accidentally pick a hard one first. 
Like, I like to work my way up to, like, the hard level in stage- in games, you know? Like, I don't want to just start off all crazy. Damn! I missed my letter! Or did I get it? I don't know. I think I got it. Woo! Oh, didn't get another L. Oh well. Uh... I'm in a situation. There we go. Ah! I can't get the coins! Oh, we hit some fire and lost like all our health, so that sucks. Probably gonna die here. Yep. Soon. I just want to play this a little bit more. Ah, shit. Complete! Yay! I got something. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm really enjoying this. We need some health. No, I was just next to health! Thanks for hanging out, games and movies. Swordbot is your favorite? Yeah, that was cool. So I guess you just memorize, like, what letter combinations or what power-up and you like. You put it, you get the one you want. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna write down Shatterhand. I don't know, a stream or a Let's Play, I'll d Either one, probably a stream would be fun for that one. <sighs> okay, next up we have Shingen the Ruler. Oh, I think I know what this is. And it's one of those games that I don't know how to play, so I'm just gonna turn it on and basically turn it off. <sighs> I have never heard of that tiger bug. You should use you holding the Ernie and Bert album as a thumbnail. It's not a bad idea, Eric. <laughs> Uh, this looks like something I'm gonna hate. It's a grand strategy game. Well, this is not for me. January 1545. I don't want to go to January 1545. Yeah. What, like, what am I looking at? This is not for me. Shinobi. He looks like crazy in the title screen for the NES port. Doesn't he look crazy? He's like... Um, I like the arcade version of this a lot. It's one of my favorite arcade games. Oh, the color screwed up. Let's try it. Do, 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 do. Did that work? Please just work. Fuck. All right, let me hook up Mike's NES. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting on me. Um, thank you, Super Dusties. And. 
Yeah, I don't have my mister hooked up right now, so. There we go, that looks better. So I'm using Mike's NES right now. Good to always have at least two NESs in any household. You need more than one. That's my tip of the day. All right, Shinobi. Is my NES dying? I think the contacts are screwed up. I guess I can leave that guy there, because... So basically you're saving all the hostages. Ah! Uh-oh! I like how you can crawl and walk. I always forget you can do that. Oh. Ah. Do 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 do. Uh oh. No problem. Let's go over here. There we go. Now we gotta save this guy. And we are on our merry way. The Master System version of this? I don't know if I've ever played the Master System version of this. I'm always horrible at this part. Oh, I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. No, I'm not. They got me, I failed. I can never win that part and get the bonus. I can never do that. The master, mas, ugh, master system version's good. Fun fact, on the um, arcade version of this, she's missing a mole on one of the pictures, but on this one, she's all there. And then he doesn't look like Spider-Man anymore. Well, this is a bit of a tricky situation. Ah, shit. I love Shinobi. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Eric. Thanks so much, Flute Wizard. Have a good night. Okay. The shredder looking guy throwing his meatballs. I always have trouble with this boss for some reason. Like, I, I just have trouble dodging. Oh, wait, Ninja Magic. How do you use Ninja Magic on the NES version? Select. I don't know how to use ninja magic! Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn! Get me out of here. Oh, fuck. Those things like heat seek you or whatever the word is, it sucks. He stole tacos from you? I'm sorry Elmo stole tacos from you. He's... I don't know. He's he's bad news. I'm trying to figure out how you, how you use ninja magic. Maybe there isn't any in this. Whatever. Anyway, so that's Shinobi. It's fun. I like it. I recommend the arcade version, not the NES version. Press select to choose magic and then hold B. Oh. 
Well, too late now, but thank you, Retro K. <laughs> All right, so shooting range is a gun game, so we're gonna sh uh, skip that. Short order is a uh, power pad game, which I've played in my first, in the power pad video. So if you wanna see that, you can check that out. Um, side pocket, let's see what side pocket's about. Did you steal Mike's AVS? No, I'm using a real top loader NES. I have an AVS, but it's at my parents' house. A power pad stream? Oh my god, I'd be so nervous to do a power pad stream. You didn't know? You did a power pad video? I didn't know, right? <laughs> Am I a pool shark? Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna be horrible at this. All right. Oh, it's like telling me what to do. Okay. Oh, that would have been awesome. The line helps. Let's try that. Ah, Darn. I know this is exciting, guys. Look at this angle right here. It's pretty crazy. Do you think we can do something fancy and do this? Probably not. Eh. Let's do this, I guess. Let's break them up a bit. <laughs> is this like the line and bust to move? It is. It's like, oh, here, you need help. Let's try that, maybe? Ah. The music is very happy. This would be good background music for like a video. I sure hate that down. Full power, aww. Uh-oh. Let's try that. Damn. Oh, yay. Mm. Thank you so much, my cousin Joey, for the raid. Welcome. We're currently playing through NES games A through Z. We are on letter S, and this is Side Pocket. So if that sounds fun, please stick around. And what were you streaming, cousin Joey? All right, do you think we can do this? Huh? Aww. Did it work? I don't know. Look at that line. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever, let's do that. What's gonna happen? <laughs> anyway, whatever. That side pot the uh, side pocket, you get the idea. You were playing Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold. Oh, that's cool. Well, I hope that was fun. Very cool. I was watching YouTube VODs of these before going to bed. They helped me so much. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it, Death Clonic. And hello, Autobot. Lunar Pool is cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, we played that recently. That's the other pool one. Right. Have I ever watched The Nanny? <laughs> um, I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Thanks for hanging out, Jamie. Who's my favorite Full House character? I don't know if I have a favorite character. Um, how about...
what's Dave Coulier's puppet's name? Mr. Woodchuck? I'll say him. I have not played uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, no. I haven't played a ton of Pokemon. I'm not, like, super big on Pokemon. I'm, like, a casual Pokemon person. Like, I like Pokemon Snap, and I play Pokemon Go and stuff like that. Silent Service. Oh, is this the game that is, like, the cheapest NES game you can get or something? It's a sub-game. Well, this is gonna be great! Torpedo gun practice. Yeah, let's practice this. Convoy zigzags. I don't- I don't know. Sure. Oh god. Uh, like what? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what any of this means. There we are. What if I change the number? Uh, do I shoot it? What do I do? Alright, well, I don't know what any of this means. So, this is silent, silent service. And that's as much as I need to play, and I can live with that. Alright, next is Silkworm. Don't know what this is gonna be. Sammy, okay. You always wanted to see Aaron inside a submarine. I am never getting in a submarine. I am terrified of being in a submarine. I would freak out. It had no music, so it was silent. Well, I mean, the... It wasn't lying. The title wasn't lying. <clears throat> Robert, Stacy, Roger. There's so many names. Sammy presents the year 1990. Silkworm! Hell. Oh, I thought it said hell. Heli or Jeep? Okay, do we want a Jeep or a helicopter? Which one? I'm gonna choose the Jeep. I feel like like you would choose the helicopter, but I don't know. I'm going I'm going with the Jeep. Ooh! Ooh, it's like Moon Patrol. It's great. Oh look, you can jump and shoot things. This is great. Silkworm, everybody, for the NES. It's fantastic. Not as fantastic as Moon Patrol, but you, we all can't have Moon Control. Moon Patrol. Moon Control is the sequel. I'm just making things up and saying random words. Look at me go. I'm gonna shoot a helicopter out of the sky. If they come down lower enough. Oh my god, that helicopter just... Oh, I can't jump on that? I thought it, I could. Oh, you can kind of aim downwards. So I definitely should have chose the helicopter. No. Let's try the helicopter. That's terrifying, Shishi. Hello, Walker, Texas Dangler. Thanks for hanging out, Sambat. Silkworm was on everything. It was very popular in Europe. Oh, okay. As popular arcade as well. Okay, well, I I did not know of that. So now let's try it with the helicopter. Ah!
Yeah, that's right. You shoot at me, I shoot at you. Stop forming things. No! Why won't you die? Ooh, yeah. Now we're talking. Ah! Darn. I liked having the twin gun. That was nice. Maybe we will get it back. Oh, <laughs> I just shot down. Was that a UFO that just started driving? Or are those enemy jeeps? Oh, they're enemy tanks. They looked like little UFOs at first. I was like, oh, now aliens are involved? That's cool. I don't think this thing dies. No, I mean, I was, it was blinking, so I guess it does die. But anyway, so that's Silkworm. That's fun. I like it. <sighs> Silver Surfer. I don't want to play Silver Surfer. I don't want to play it. Is it easy to use the controller in this? I mean, it's a lot of tapping, so it kind of sucks. Another, th but not as hard. It doesn't suck as hard as Silver Surfer. The, you need the turbo controller for this. So I'm going to play it very short because I don't want to kill my hands. And we'll play a little bit of Silver Surfer. This is like the tapping game out of all tapping games. The music's good though. Makes you think of the future. It makes you think it's like 1989 and anything is possible in the year 2000 and there's everyone's gonna be wearing silver and everything's gonna be like clear. It's gonna be great. That's what it makes you think of. All right. Galactus, why have you summoned me? I have need of you, surfer. This universe is threatened from beyond. Beyond? The evil forces of the magic domain are almost upon us. Only by recovering the cosmic device can we all be sa saved. And if I refuse? You must not. Upon this, all life depends. So he's under some pressure. Select world player one. Okay, so we select our world. That guy looks pretty 80s extreme. Let's go with that. Professor section one. Is his name Professor section one? Or is this just section one, the professor? Because it sounds like his name is Professor section one. What kind of name is that? He's ashamed of himself. All right, let's let's try this again. Speed. Ah, alien heads, right? Ooh, F. Oh. <laughs> Why was I trying to blow up that statue? Statue wasn't shooting at me. And I just died. Ah, fuck. Fuck you. I'm gonna get the Galactus helmet and wear it in the bedroom in the dark and stand in front of the bed and wake up and wake you up while I scream. That would be terrifying. Please don't do that. I like the sound effects. The hell noise was that? What the fuck? 
Where are they getting all those heads from? Like, is it just like a head shooter thing? Elmo blew his slide whistle. That's what it sounded like. Anyway. So that's that, the Silver Surfer. Next is Simpsons. <sighs> Bart versus the Space Mutants. Uh, I don't feel like doing this, but I must. But I must for science. We must do it. Let's see if I remember how to play this. It's been a while. So as we all know, most of these, well, all of these NES games for The Simpsons aren't, aren't good. They're not, they're not good. But we must, we must play them. This game does have a mall in it though. I included it in my mall games video. Sorbo. So we have to like spray all the stuff that's purple with a wait. Oh wait. Okay, there we go. So now Oh, I don't have the spray can yet. Okay, so I have to get the spray can, I forget. It's so hard to make that jump. Fuck, and you can only get hit twice. I remember that. Oh, well, I'll try to get up there a different way. No! Let's try this again. Fuck you. Shit! It's so annoying! I don't have the patience. I can't, I can't get that. There we go. Maybe I have to be more in the middle. There we go. Okay, so you spray paint things red because that makes sense. Ah, and then you have to like really fast do the x-ray glasses thing. Okay, and I remember you call Mo from here. Wait. I forget how to use it. Let me see. There we go. So we're calling Mo. Mo's tavern, Mo speaking. Is Jock there? Who? Jock, last name Strap. Hold on. Jock Strap? Hey guys, I'm looking for a Jock Strap. Ha 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 ha. Why, you little. Thank you so much, Dragon Warrior Brian, for subscribing to Tier 2 for 15 months. Thanks so much. We need to see some Britney's dance beat rage. Oh, you, I mean, I could stream that. Well, because of copyright, the songs. I could probably stream the Game Boy Color version, but we couldn't play the PlayStation version. And thank you so much, I am Demon 84 for subscribing for 38 months. Thank you. I know I missed the guy walking out. It's so fast. You have to be so... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do this. I walk up here. I remember this. And you do that. Oh, more spray paint. Can I get up there? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Oh, shit. Oh, he's an alien! Can I chase him? Oh, he's gone. Okay, so I jump over this guy. How's the ball doing? Oh, 
Okay, so he's just a normal dude. No! It took a hit. See, like, do I spray this? I don't have any more spray paint? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, that's just a normal guy. No! Alright, anyway, so that's Bart versus the Space Mutants. It drives me crazy. Um, we'll do... Now it's Bart versus the World. This one I've probably played the least. I think I've tried this out like once, so I don't know much about it. Oh, I was supposed to go in the store. The store has a wrench that you buy with the coins you didn't get. You'd have to restart. Oh, okay. I think I remember that. I know Skwoon is coming up. Everyone's excited for Skwoon. It's Skwoon season. All right. Let's start. Let's just go for it. This is probably the best of the shitty Simpsons games, really. 24 hour Skwoon stream? You should do that, Mike. That would, that would be right up your alley. So we could choose, so we're in, so I guess it's around the world. So we start off in China and we can play junk, sliding puzzle, card match, Simpsons trivia. Let's do card match. We only have five turns. Let's see. So this is like a bunch of mini games, I guess. All right. Auto. Millhouse. Uh. I don't know. Oh, Millhouse was here. No, that's damn it. That's Flanders. Yay! Was he here or was he here? Yay! Oh, he was here? Yay! I forget his name. Oh, the three-eyed fish. Um Nope. Darn. Well, that was that. Yeah, Dr. Marvin Monroe, thank you. Damn, I don't know why when you said, damn, is that Flanders? I first saw laughing. <laughs> Let's play it again. I like matching games because I'm like six years old. Mo. Flanders. <gasps> Two Flanders. Dr. Marvin Monroe. Grandpa Simpson. Oh, Mo was here? Yay. Oh, where was he? He was like... Ah. There we go. Nope. Darn. This is actually a good way to improve your memory. You're, yeah, you're right. Okay, last time. Was I here? Damn it. No. Ah. Well, we didn't do good that time. It should give you more chances. You can't do it in only five turns. It should give you like 10 turns, you know? Anyway, let's do Simpsons trivia. Why did Bart run away from home on Thanksgiving? He burned Lisa's centerpiece. There was no more white meat, so everyone else could eat more. I don't remember this episode. I'm gonna guess it's he burned Lisa's centerpiece. Okay, I guess I was right. What's Grandpa Simpson's first name? Abe. 
Who works at the Quickie Mart? A poo. Oh, look, three crusties. Can we do it again? Will it be different questions? Oh, it doesn't let you do it again? That sucks. All right, let's try this one. Oh my god, there's like people running around. Ah! I thought we just grabbed a weapon. Maybe we didn't. We're throwing firecrackers. Oh, there's, what's his name? Jebediah Springfield up there. How the hell do you get up there? Can you climb this? Oh, you can climb it! I didn't know that. Okay. Shit. There's stuff coming from all kinds of places. What is that? Is that like a basketball hoop? Oh, oh, we drowned. And there's Maggie. I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> Why did they put items right there? He blinks underwater. What's this? Oh my god, a seagull. Ah, he exploded. Sorry. Sorry, seagull. Ooh. <gasps> so I guess your purpose is to collect all the items, that's why it's called junk? I don't know. Let's just keep climbing up and see what happens. Okay, so now we're at the top. Can you not walk up here? Oh, okay. Oh, look, you're not even standing on the... It looks like you're walking on nothing. How the hell do I get up there? Do you climb this? Oh. Well, that's difficult. Ah, we're gonna fall in the water. Oh, we got hit by a firecracker. I don't know what else you're supposed to do. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Do I go in here? Am I just trapped here now? Oh, you can climb back up. Why is Maggie there? It makes no sense. And why can't you go in that door? It looks like you're supposed to go in the door. Or maybe you can once you collect all the items. I don't know. This is weird. Thanks for hanging out, Ninja Running Wild. You go to Maggie last. If you find one of the family members, they trigger the crusty item. Hey, King of Apoc. Alright, I don't know what else to do. So anyway, that's Bart versus the world. And next up, we have Bart meets Radioactive Man. This is the one in the junkyard. Um, I've never gotten too far in this. I remember hating it. So, <laughs> we'll see. They're okay, Wolfmaster. I'm probably gonna stop soonish, but thank you for checking. So you can't punch? Oh, you can. You can't punch tires? Oh, look, CRTs. 
Okay, so we collect little bubbles. <sighs> I'm trying to kick. <sighs> so annoying. This is bad. the worst one maybe I really hate space mutants I don't know which one I hate the most Ugh, come on this is really bad <laughs> oh god now okay <laughs> who's that guy ah. <sighs> this is annoying thank you so much death clonic for the bits Bart versus the Juggernauts, I think. The oh, yeah, there's, like, a bunch of Game Boy ones. Isn't there a camp one, too? Like, they go to camps or something? I'm tired of this, so I'm gonna move on. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. We'll do the Skater Dies. I don't know why Skater Die 2. So we'll do Skater Die 1 first. And then we'll end on Skater Die 2. And then we can start next stream with Ski or Die. Oh, Camp Krusty. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah, I kind of... Better to end on a decent note than a bad one. Should I save this for the next stream? I mean, it would be good to start off the next stream with Skate or Die. But, um, I gotta remember how to play Skate or Die. So, I really, I don't like this game. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna get it over with now. And I like how it just says Skate or Die, like the cursor just says Skate or Die. I called this a bad game in a video, and people were like, it's not bad. You just don't even know, you don't understand, it's great. So let's go practice. Let's see if I remember how to play this at all, okay. Oh, oh, no, we went back into the shop. I didn't mean to go back there. All right. Let's go. Try to joust. Oh yeah, all the controls are backwards. Skating to pool joust. Poser Pete. Oh yeah, I forgot about Poser Pete. Hey dude, give me a break. I'm just learning how to joust. Agro Eddie says no prob. I know my way around a pool. Do you? Better better know your stuff before you take me on. And Lester just says skate or die. So, let's pick aggro dude. Look at this. Look out. Look what this looks like. All right. Which one am I? I'm guessing I'm the one that fell. Uh, 
Um, probably not anytime soon, James. I'm probably not streaming Mario RPG anytime soon. Does it look good on a CRT? Um, it would probably look better on a CRT. But I'm not using a CRT at the moment. Alright, let's try this again. Oh! He got us again! Eddie's kicking our ass! You're the Skater Die Defender! Oh my god, the Skater Die Defender's here. Well, I think your game sucks. I think it stinks. Alright. Can I, like, stop doing this and do something else? How many times is this guy gonna kick my ass before they let me do a different part of the game? Alright, so I think it's over. Oh my god, it just keeps going? Oh my god. This sport in real life would leave you with a broken skull after two rounds. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so, uh, let's do something else. Wherever I can control my skateboard to. High jump, I guess. Skating to high jump. Oh, look at this. This looks scary. Alright. Wee! Like, what? I, I'm pressing buttons. <laughs> and I don't know. Do I, like, tap it? Okay, tap it. It's not, it's like kind of, am I, do you have to like rock it back and forth maybe? Oh, yeah, you guys are right. This sucks. This is so uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, I can't. I can't. That's Skate or Die. I'm sorry. I just, I, I can't. Now let's see Skate or Die 2. Ooh. Yeah, this one has like the badass song. Die. Yeah, this is badass. We're all gonna die. See, this gets you pumped. The other one, it didn't get you excited. This is like, fuck yeah, we're playing Skate or Die 2. And the, the colors are extreme. The song's extreme. It's great. Starring. Oh my god. Ronnie's back, owner of Ronnie's Skate Shop. Very hip daddy-o to the local skate crowd. Look to him for better skateboards. Alright. Lester, son of Ronnie. Primo skater who's too cool for words. He'll teach you all the right skate tricks, but good luck finding him. He always skates solo. Ariel, CJ. One of the local thrashers. Don't let her good looks fool you. She'll skate you into the ground. That's like straight up Ariel. Like the hair and everything. They totally ripped that off. <laughs> that was funny. Ice pick. The local loco. Oh, I went away. And you! Our hero! Look at this guy. It's another beautiful day in the quiet town of Elwood. Thank you, Super Jeff, for the raid. I hope you were having a good stream. We're currently playing Skater Die 2. <sighs> Skater Die 2. Look, like he's determined. 
for some serious sidewalk shredding. This is great. Clean streets, excellent weather. Can it get any better than this? Oh, look, Fifi, the antique store is having a sale. Uh-oh, I bet there's going to be a problem. Hey, poser, where do you learn to ride? What? <laughs> Buzz off, ice pick. Who are you calling poser? They're gonna fight. Oh. Ah! Ah! Yay! Splat. Hey, Super Jeff. Thanks for the raid. Fifi! Oh no! <gasps> That's awful! This is a horrible dark start to a game! Major bummer, dude. Major bummer, dude. <laughs> This is so bad. These are the times that try skater souls. Aggro Eddie. Yo, dude, I'm Ronnie. Take some time to cruise these streets and nab any stuff you might see. <laughs> Let's get some tacos. Some tapes. Come find me if you ever need a better board. Why is there, like, tacos and CDs? Look for my dear boy, Lester. He's got a lot of skate tricks to teach you. This is wild. Okay, well this looks better. I'm gonna, f okay. Get the taco. Oh my God, we're in the sewers. Top 10 sewers in games, skater die too. Oh my God, he smashed the rats, that's awful. We also have a gun. This is a lot better. Oh my god, they're coming after us, the evil skateboarders. <laughs> oh, I still have a gun though. How do you turn around? I can't turn around. Oh god, oh god, he's gaining on us. Got a taco. Is a taco Tuesday yet? This is so- this still sucks, but like, the music's pretty rocking, I'll give it that. And the vibe is funny. Like, it's funny. Look at- I don't- look at all these people! They're all here! But like, I don't know what you do. Three felonies for what? Skating, dude! Fighting lizards now? Well, how do I get up there? The hell? Go in the shop? Can I leave? Do I have to fight these lizards? Alright, let me find the shop. Well, how do I get the things down there? All right, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Let's try to find the shop. Will it be obvious where the shop is? That would be cool. <sighs> Fuck. 
Fuck. This is so annoying. Can I go in there? Like... This game is out of control. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much, um, Miss Galeno, for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. The only good skater die game is Bad and Rad for the Game Boy. That one was made by Konami. I've never heard of that. I'll have to check that out, Mad Stalker. Shadowgate or Skater Die 2? I know it's a really hard, um, it's a hard choice, but I'm going to have to go with Shadowgate. This game is out of control. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Galano. I hope you had a good stream. Oh, Hex, do you like this game? I want to know, does anybody like this game? I'm sure somebody does. Somebody that understands how to play it. I can't control this game if my life depended on it. I'm wait I'm waiting for the unpopular opinion. I'm excited. I'm waiting. Got my water. I'm good. But it's like like if I could move faster and if I knew where to go, that would make things better. I did not watch Five Nights at Freddy's. No, I don't know anything about it. Reading a manual is helpful. Sometimes, yes. Alright, so, I mean, I think this one is a lot better than Skater Die 1. I think this is out of, this game is out of control. They just threw, like, a bunch of ideas at it, and they just included all of it. I don't like that it starts out with you running over a dog. I think that kind of sucks. Dude. Oh my god. And then he just shows up. I don't know what's going on. Sesame Street ABC or Big Bird's Hide and Speak? I think I like Big Bird's Hide and Speak better. S means Super C, Shatterhand, and Super Mario Brothers 1 through 3. That's good though. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in S. It's just, this is going to be multiple streams. We're not getting through all the S games in two streams. It's going to be a lot of streams of S of the letter S, so be prepared. Hello, we are back with some more NES games alphabetically. We are still on the letter S, and we left off on Ski or Die. We ended the last stream with Skate or Die and Skate or Die 2. Skate or Die 2 is crazy. I'm still thinking about that game. <laughs> but anyway, Ski or Die is next. I'm not looking forward to that one, to be totally honest. Do do do. Let me make sure I got all my stuff in the right places. Okay. So here we go. Ski or die. Let me f move my monitor. <laughs> all right. Ski or die. From 1990 from Konami. Look at that title screen. That's pretty good. I don't know what they were saying there. Oh, Rodney's back. So he was in Skater Die. So now he's skiing also. And I like that the cursor is just like Skater Die, but it says Skier Die. So let's go practice since I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this looks like Skater Die so far. Uh, where should I go first? Snowball Blast. Uh, let's maybe do that. Skiing to Snowball Blast. What's gonna happen here? Oh, wait, what? Oh, are we, like, just throwing snowballs? Hit button. Okay. Who am I supposed to hit? Come on up. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. 
Yeah, this is fun. I just want to throw snowballs at people. This is great. What if I hit the star? Oh, look at this kid. What an asshole. I'm gonna get him. Just you wait. I'm so bad at aiming at stuff like this. It just keeps going. How long does this go on for? Kid to pop up in the front because I want to hit him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, now I'm satisfied. <laughs> this is great. You guys are right. Skier die is awesome. But let's. I'm gonna have to play the other games too. Okay, so that was fun. Let me catch up with the chat real quick. How did I like the Simpsons games? I really dislike the Simpsons games on the NES. I just like most of the Simpsons games, actually. So, that, that was an experience. What's today's shirt? It's a Mario Kart uh, hoodie that I got when I went to Universal Studios. And it's very comfortable. I got it a little too big, but it's, it's cozy. It's nice and loose. Oh, thank you, some like it's not. You say it might be super late, but seeing you with a black wig was cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm kind of digging the black hair. If I, if I like, I don't know. It's tempting, it's tempting. <laughs> Did you play in the snow? No, because I grew up in Southern California, so there was no snow. I'm still getting used to how to deal with snow. Thank you so much, Skywalker Ranch, for subscribing for five months. Thank you. They're a, they're a little better. My hands are doing not awesome lately, but better. So thank you for asking. Squoon or die? Well, we're gonna get to Squoon soon. Don't you worry. Bart's Nightmare on Super Nintendo. Oof, those are rough. <laughs> and how low whirly derby. Dye my hair brown. Maybe, maybe at some point. I don't know. I wish it was easier to, to experiment and dye hair different colors because that would be good, but it would damage the fuck out of my hair. All right, so next, so we did Snowball Blast. Now I'm gonna do Inner Tube Thrash. That sounds pretty extreme. Inner Tube Thrash. Hello, Lord Awesome. Wait, which one's me? Okay, I think I'm the blue one. So, hitting a uh, B does something? Oh, you can punch. I'm punching. Okay, so I can punch this guy. Let's try to punch him. But you have to be angled correctly. Oh, that's hard. It's not worth it. We're getting all kinds of items. I'm not really sure. Like, what is that? Is that like a pump to like pump up the inner tube, I guess, to give you more air? Not entirely sure. No! Oof. And I wonder if this just goes on forever. So this is like tubing in the snow. <laughs> All 
All right, I think we get the idea. No, my natural hair color is like dirty blonde. Hello, games and movies. And thank you so much, Retro Gaming Night, for subscribing for 53 months. Thank you. I had a dream I was drowning in an ocean of orange soda. When I woke up, I realized it was just a fantasy. I see what you did there, Shadow Man. That's, that's good. LOL. <laughs> All right. Um, next, let's try... Oh, God. Snowboard half pipe. That's going to be tough, I think. Unless I'm picturing in my head something different. Oh god, what do I do? Look at the snowman! <laughs> don't be a wimp! Well, I don't know what I'm doing! Am I supposed to grab these? Oh, okay. So those are items. Or no, they're not. Well, how can you tell what's an item and what's like an obstacle? Like, okay, obstacle, obstacle. Okay, this is cool. It's fine. All right, so that was fine. And now, oh, we need to do acro aerials. What is that gonna be? Were there were penguins? I didn't see penguins. Adventure in the Magic Kingdom in the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of reminiscent of that. All right. Uh, I guess I just hit the button and go for it. Whee! Like, do I press anything? <laughs> I d I literally just pressed A. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Was the Wii U or the game? That was me. Hello, Wolfmaster. What is up? Oh, you mash buttons? Oh, okay. Well, let's try it again. So I'm just going to mash these buttons and see what happens. Ooh. Look how high we went. I don't know if I'm mashing the buttons correctly, but it got me higher points so far. Zero! Maybe I'm not mashing them hard, fast. I'm so bad at mashing buttons really fast. I can't do it. Cause like, if you mash them fast, do you like do spins and stuff? Is that what it is? You're ready for more NES craziness? Well, you're, you came in at a good time cause we're on ski or die. No worries, Stelly. Have a good night. Oh, circle counterclockwise. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. I'm bad at that too. On the D-pad, I'm bad at that, so. I'm rocking the D-pad. I don't know what to do. I'm not, I guess I'm not doing it right. Well, the score is a little better, right? Nope. <laughs> I don't get it. Let me try it one more time. Oh, I did a thing. Oh, sh <laughs> I fell on my face. But at least I like... Did the splits in the air. <laughs> Let me try that again. I was mashing the D-pad and rocking. I was rocking the D-pad back and forth and mashing buttons. That's, so I don't know which one was correct. But apparently the combination does some kind of stuff. Hello, Joshua. You've been looking forward to Solstice, Jeremy? Well, I think we're going to get to that today. Um, If it's what I'm thinking of. 
if Solstice is the game that I'm thinking of, I don't really know what to do in that game, and it's kind of weird. So we'll see. Um, spam buttons before jumping. Oh, okay. I'll try that. This is, this is all a big mystery. Here we go. Oh, we were almost in space. Okay, land. Yay! Hey, we got a 3.0. 3.4. 3.1. Cool. I'm gonna figure this out. Why am I doing this so many times? What is wrong with me? So I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I see space up there. It's literally space. Oh God. And he landed. Hell yeah. We're getting better at ski or die. Why am I into ski or die? This could be a fun video for December. I might, I might do something with this. Who would have thought? I thought you guys were messing with me when you said it's a good game, but like this isn't bad. I'm like having fun. Does this go in the book? I think it's gonna go in the book. All right. All right, so now we did, that was acro aerials, right? So now we're gonna do downhill blitz. That's the final one. Skiing to downhill. Oh, you want me to try to get into space? We can go back to it and try to get into space. Thank you so much, Weirdo Tom, for subscribing for seven months. Thank you. You could do a ski or die slash winter games comparison video. That's not a bad idea. All right. Um, let's see how this goes. <laughs> not well. This is not going well. Okay, so the controls are kind of feel awkward. <laughs> this is not, he's, it's gonna take like 10 minutes to get down this hill. No! I was doing better though! a failure. I'm a failure when it comes to skiing. What was that? Now I'm over here. Oh god, I fell. <laughs> I can't do this. Go. The Because like the controls feel a little backwards. And it's just really awkward. This poor guy is probably covered in blood. I, I can't, I can't do this one. I can't do it. But you know what, I'm gonna try this one again and see if we can get into space. Just like a few more times. I need to move on, cause this isn't a ski or die stream, but I'm just, I'm having a good time. All right, so let's try this again. I still don't really understand it, but I'm gonna mash the buttons as fast as I can. Is it this? Let me see. Oh, I think it's the D-pad that makes you go high. So I think, so next I'm gonna try just the D-pad again. This wasn't good, this wasn't a good run. Will Elmo be making an appearance tonight? I don't know. We never know when he shows up. He just kind of comes and goes as he pleases. Did I throw away the eyeball lights? No, they're in a little container right over here. I'm not throwing those away. I love those lights. I wish I got more than one pack of them because I'm worried they're going to burn out one day. All right, let's try this again. I'm just going to do the D-pad when we go up. Two hands. Okay, so maybe you need to do the D-pad and the buttons? That is so bizarre. 
Yeah, exactly. At least it was a clean landing. It could be worse. You like to play this on DOS? That's cool. Alright, let's try this again. I want to be a master. Ah, I can't do it! rating finally so it wasn't horrible but I want to see space again oh uh, thank you joyous success why aren't you going as high anymore I don't know because I don't understand the controls every time I do it I try it differently because I don't know what to do this is stupid I don't know why I'm doing this I'm so sorry but like I I'm addicted to this for some reason because I have mental problems Go higher! Higher! I don't understand! I'm done. <laughs> Whatever. It's a mystery. One day I will look up the controls. If I do a video on this, I'll look up the controls and... Um... Master it. That is my goal. To master. Ski or die. Something I thought I would never say in my life. Oh, did we get a raid? Thank you so much, Zofar, for the raid. I hope you had a really good stream. Um, he's been making YouTube videos now. I have yet to check them out. I'm sorry. I will watch it soon. Um, but yeah, check out his YouTube videos. I'm sure they're awesome. And thank you so much. Uh, hello, Elraz. Hello. And thank you again for the raid so far. Yeah, this actually does look fun. I know, it's shocking. I thought Ski or Die would be horrible, but I'm, I'm having a good time. <sighs> How's the NES scene? It's going well so far with Ski or Die, surprisingly. <laughs> All right, I got to move on. I don't want to move on, but I have to move on. So we're going to move on. Sky Kid. I haven't played this in a long time. Hello, Retromaniac James. All right, so let's just, I don't know, we'll just mess with it and see what happens. Mission one, bomb the target. I like the little plane, it's cute. That didn't start out well. <laughs> let's try it again. What do I press? Okay, so that does that, okay. So I think I remember you pick up a bomb. So I'm looking for a bomb on the ground. Okay, so you just get it. And then I drop it on a building, I think. No, I was just about to drop the bomb. We gotta try that again. I was going too fast. Go up. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, we got it. Okay, I'm gonna... Whoa! No! I was gonna... I was like, ooh, I can, like, do a little loop, maybe, and dodge, but I messed up. If you get hit, you can tap A to fast recover. Okay, maybe that's what I was thinking to do. But it didn't work. I did it. I did it too late. Oh, you can't loop when you have the bomb? Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. That's why it didn't work. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, shit. Was that? I don't know. Okay, let's start. I don't even care about shooting these other planes. I just want to drop the bomb. I 
I, it's like I can't, it's impossible to get there. I guess I have to be really high. I am so bad at this. <clears throat> Hello, PNW. Loop and Louie. I just ran into the tree! Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go higher. It's just, you gotta be low for the bomb. But I guess after I get the bomb, I'll just try to go really high. Okay, now I'm gonna go as high as I can. This is as high as I can go. Fuck yeah. Did I do it? Oh yeah. Oh, I ran into a tree! I almost landed! I almost did it! I almost did it! Oh, I missed? <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well this is, this is a little more tough than I thought it would be. And no, of course not, Hex. The bomb landed too forward, I gotta drop it sooner. Okay, let's try it again. We're gonna do it, that's the goal. <gasps> Fuck! This is stressing me out. You should see the later levels are insane. I believe it. Okay, I will drop it sooner. Yay! Did I do it? I think I did it. Yay! Did it! <laughs> it only took me like five times, but we did it. Hello, Retro K. No, I was looking at the chat. I had a Pac-Man anthology on PS2 and I played this more than any of the Pac-Man games on it. Oh, this was on a Pac-Man anthology? That's interesting. Okay, so, oh god. No, I shouldn't have looped. Alright, well anyway, that's Sky Kid. That's fun. I like that game. Rolling Thunder was on it too? Oh, that's cool. You played the arcade version of Sky Kid on the Namco Anniversary Collection? Oh, that's cool. I, Of course it was an arcade game. I was just gonna say I didn't know it was an arcade game, but it makes sense that it would be. Ski or Die was actually really fun. I'm, I'm shocked I'm saying it, but it was it was good. <laughs> All right, so next we have Sky Shark. Let's see what this is from Taito. Get ready, oh, I'm ready. Okay, so this is just your basic shmup, I'm guessing. We are flying over the jungle. Oh, you know what? This kind of reminds me of Dragon Spirit, except you don't have to press, like, B to, um, go on the ground to shoot things on the ground. It's just all one button, so that makes it kind of easier. But it's definitely a tap a tap a tap a game. One more time. Ah! Hello, Dizzle Hack. Have I ever played Ikaruga? Yeah, I've tried it out a few times. Uh, there's like a color system or something, right? Like, there's some. I forget what the mechanic is in that. But I thought it was okay. I didn't get really into it. I feel like for a while people kept mentioning Ikaruga like a few years ago and I haven't heard anyone talk about it in a while. 
I'm doing horrible at this. Let me try it one more time. This is a port of the arcade game Flying Shark. It's one of the first top Toplin games. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Ikaruga, you have to switch colors to attack certain enemies. It's hard as fuck. Okay, yeah. I, I like, uh... I got it on Switch, and I was playing it on a plane one day, and I was just like, I tried it for like, probably like a half hour, and I'm like, eh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it's tough. But like, I don't know. I just, the color system kind of was like crazy. I wish it would get power-ups in this. You just kind of- it's just kind of repetitive. You're not getting anything. It's not bad, it's not good, it's just like... It's standard, I guess. Like, kind of generic. Shmup. Alright. Anyway. So, that was Sky Shark. It's fine. Next, I cannot say this word. Next is Slalom. 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 I, it's hard. It's hard to say. It doesn't. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Hello, Chiluminati. Toplin definitely got better with later games like Truxton and Batsugan. Yeah, Truxton's great. I love Truxton. The music's awesome. All right. More skiing. Mount Nasty. Ooh. Well, I guess we're gonna start... I don't know. Should we start on Mountain Nasty? Mount Nasty or Snowy Hill? I'm gonna start by Snowy Hill because that sounds the least threatening. Alright. Okay, so you can jump and move, and that's about it. Okay. Ah. Okay, this is fine. It's pretty much what I thought it would be. Ah. too wiggly. Oh no, I ran into a tree. Look at his butt when he bends forward. It's very like, they really pronounce that ass. Look at that. Thank you so much, Armaz FM, for subscribing for 13 whole months. Oh, 40 months. That's a lot of months. I was gonna say, you've been here longer than that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And thank you, Air, Air Drawn Dagger, for subscribing for three months. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. I'm good, God's care of how are you? Oh, we're playing right now? Okay. The thing I liked about Ski or Die, you could just press select and go to a different thing, but I'm I wanna try a different mountain, but am I gonna have to like reset? That's so annoying. Like can I I wish I could just press select. All right, let's try, I wanna try one of the other mountains. I wanna try Mount Nasty. Aaron had that Ned Flanders moment like Homer. Oh, it's like stupid, sexy Flanders. <laughs> this is great. This is a game you can just space out and play for a long time. There's certain games like this that are just really simple that I can just play for an extended period of time and it's great. So now we're on Mount Nasty. Let's see what's nasty about it. Ah. Okay, it's a little more obstacles. Oh my god. Come on. It's a lot more turns. So I guess it's nasty because it's like a lot of obstacles and it's tougher. Ah. 
I wish you could like... Like, knock the other players over. Kind of like, what is it called on Genesis? Road Rash or something? I wish it was kind of like that. I want it to be more violent. You can hit the bumps for a sweet jump. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, let's try that. I was gonna turn it off, but now I want to do some tricks. I should have stayed on the nice mountain. This is too difficult. You're a game over. Failed. You failed. Oh, I failed. Alright, let me try another one. Hot dog heaven? What the hell is hot dog heaven? Okay, let's try snowy hill again, because that was easier, and then I want to try to do a sweet jump. more fun. This game is kind of boring, but that makes it more fun. Alright, so that's slalom. Slalom. Yeah, it definitely looks like an early NES game. <laughs> I think it- wasn't it also an Atari game? I feel like it was. Elmo spends Thanksgiving in Pep Boys. <laughs> yeah, he just locks himself in there the night before and just explores. I don't know what he... He has a thing. He likes Pep Boys. I think he likes it because he knows the Pep Boys creep me out. I don't trust them. They scare me. For an early NES game, it has a further draw distance than most in 64 games. Good point. Hello, Emerald Eyed Archer. Pet boys are egghead demons. I agree with that. Every time I drive by one and I see the sign, I'm like, nope. Don't like it. But sometimes you have to go there. And I hate going there. I don't like going to Home Depot either. It's just bad vibes. What does the exclamation point mean? Um, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I don't totally know. But it means that it's a good ROM. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Elmo did a song about Thanksgiving. Do the turkey gobble wobble with Elmo and Abby. Oh, good lord. Lowe's is better. Lowe's is a lot brighter. And I know that was their thing. They were like, oh, Home Depot's dark and depressing. We're like, everything's bright and you can see everything. Which is better, but I feel like Lowe's are usually a lot bigger than Home Depot, and that stresses me out. So both of them, I just, I don't like. I would rather go to Home Goods, yes. You can find, like, a, like a tea towel with, like, a dog wearing a cowboy hat on it or some shit. I don't know. I'd rather go to Home Goods and explore than, than Home Depot. Pier 1? Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't thought about Pier 1 in so long. They went out of business, right? Rip. I've never been inside of Ace Hardware. Maybe I would enjoy that more. Uh-oh, a claim. Smaller. I think I wouldn't mind a hardware store that's smaller. There's just, Home Depots are just, there's too much going on. I just, I don't like it. Do they have pot shops in all malls now where it's legal? Uh, I don't know. I've seen like CBD stores. Is Big Lots dead too? Does anybody remember Pick and Save? I used to go there. I have memories going there when I was really little. 
And I remember getting Beetlejuice color forms. Like the cartoon Beetlejuice. And I remember getting Care Bear, like, little figurines there. And then I think that turned into Big Lots. I don't know why we're having this conversation, but thank you guys for having it with me because I love talking about defunct retail change chains. It's so fun. I've never been to an Ames. I didn't know what Ames was until I started like watching like Dead Mall and like old retail videos because they weren't around Southern California. I've only been to Big Lots a few times. I feel like my allergies would always get out of control every time I go to Big Lots. All right, so this is Smash TV. I played this at the arcade once and it was, it's fun. The arcade version's fun. Thanks for hanging out so far. Ha thanks for the stream and have a good night. I'm really bad at controlling it, but I enjoy it. It just takes me a while to like get the hang of it. Did it just say I got a brand new toaster? Does this mean I'm invincible? Oh, I'm invincible. That was cool. Where did the music stop? Now we're playing in silence. Yeah, we got this shield around us. Fuck yeah. This is great. Oh man, we're dead. Who? He whacked us with a baseball bat. That's not fair. That's not fair. I want a baseball bat. How come I don't have one? I want a gun in one hand and a baseball bat in the other hand. And I want my toaster that I won. Yeah. How many toasters can you win? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, and there's a map. Did I have a digital watch? I did used to wear watches before cell phones were so, like, attached. Like, growing up, I would have watches. Like, in middle school, I thought it was fun to, like, get watches for kids. Like, I had a Scooby-Doo watch. I had a, a Kim Possible watch. One time I had a Baby G watch. Those were really popular when I was in middle school, and I was so happy when I got a Baby G watch. Does anybody remember those? It was, like, light blue and clear. It was very, like, Y2K looking. It was great. Uh... No! Shit, shit, shit. The guy with the baseball bat's back. Yeah, I shot him. Oh, we're dead. I'm so bad at this, but it's fun. I want to look at the chat and see what kind of watches you guys are talking about. <laughs> I'm in a goofy ass mood tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. No! Alright, so that's Smash TV. It's fun. I like it. I like the arcade version better, but I mean, that's, that's usual. Did you have a game of watch? I never had a game of watch. No, I still don't have one. Hello Kitty watch? I must have had a Hello Kitty watch at some point. Oh my god, the Rugrats watches from Burger King. I had the Chucky one. I remember those. Holy shit. Yeah, I had a Chucky one. I wore that all the time as a kid. I wonder if I still have it somewhere. I probably don't. You used to have a Super Mario game and watch? I remember I had no idea what they were. And then when I was in like fourth or fifth grade, um... My friend's older brother, like, brought one out, and I was like, what is this? Like, I never saw anything like it before, and I was like, oh, this is cool. Uh, 
I don't know why I gave all those details, but... <laughs> You still have your He-Man toys? That's good. I still have some of the toys that I really enjoyed growing up. I still have. I remember how amazing it was to wear a watch swimming. <laughs> oh, like if they're water resistant. I want a swatch. Like, I know those are very 80s, but they still make them. And I still think they're very cool. But I don't know if I want to, like, spend money on one. Because I'm like, would I really wear it that often? But they're just so cool. And I want one of those watches that you know the big ones that fit on the wall I want one of those Urban Outfitters has a Snoopy one and another one but I kind of want it to look cooler than the ones they have but some of them on eBay are so expensive you have the Zelda watch you could play oh that's cool I though yeah aren't those a lot of money now I did have a Furby it was it was weird it would go off in the middle of the night and that was always terrifying the Wild Wild West sunglasses from Burger King? I don't remember that. That's really funny. I'll have to look that up. Alright, so next we have Snake Rattle and Roll. I've barely played this game. Uh, so I'm probably not going to be good at it. But we're going to try it out. We're going to mess around with it. Okay, so that extends your tongue. Okay, and then that's jump, okay. Oh, you move fast. The controls are kind of wacky, woo! Can I go over there? Okay, oh, you just gotta watch out oh, for the shark, right? Oh yeah, and then you eat, don't you eat the marbles? Or are these bombs? No, you eat And then you get longer. Cause you're supposed to weigh enough at the end to like open a door or something. So I gotta keep eating these. Ah! Oh my God, they are bombs. Why are you eating bombs, Mr. Snake? That doesn't seem right. Or are just some of them bombs? And maybe the rest are like gumballs or jawbreakers. Okay, so only some are bombs. Okay. So it's like, ooh, watch out. You gotta pay attention to what you're eating. Could be a bomb. So like, I don't know. I guess I ate enough. Like, I don't know if I have to like... Like, how long do I do that? I don't know. No, is it one hit? Okay, I was gonna say. Fuck that. Oh my god, it's a giant foot! How did- I am so bad at this. Oh my god. No! I think we need to get longer. That's a bomb. Where did my body go? Oh, because I got hit, so I, I shrunk. Uh, I can't get these stupid... can't go up there. Yeah, I can. No! This is hard. Okay, so I can't go up here. I don't understand. Let's try to exit the level. Let's see if we're tall enough. Yay, we are. Alright, the bombs are lemon flavored? Ew, probably. I 
I guess we are a rattle. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. No! How the hell am I supposed to get up there? I need the tongue extender. That sounds so bad, but that's what it is. It looks like a tuning fork. No! I kind of want to see what the shark looks like. Oh, you fucker. There we go, we got a tongue extender. Ooh, these are like bouncy ones, bouncy balls. I don't know if I like this game. I know people say it's really good. I just don't think it's for me. I don't think it's bad. I just, I'm not personally enjoying it much. That being said, I probably have to practice it and play it more, but it's fucking hard, but it's interesting. It's, I don't know. I think it's a good game probably, but I just, I don't want, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> What's my favorite Thanksgiving food? I really like uh, yams like with the marshmallows, so good. I like, that's probably my favorite. And I also like stuffing. <sighs> NES version of Yoshi's Island. I wonder if anybody did a D make and did that. All right, so next is Snake's Revenge. I don't know anything about Metal Gear and I don't know how to play this game. So if anybody in the chat knows how to play it, feel free to give tips because I don't know what I'm doing. You definitely gotta give it a chance once you figure out how everything works, it's super fun. Yeah, I know like Mike beat it and he, he loves snake rattle and roll. Don't be seen by the enemies. Okay, it's a stealth game, don't get spotted. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Snake, we received information from our intelligence man that en at the enemy's base, they have a weapon. Is it a Metal Gear, which you destroyed three years ago? Go to the enemy base with two men. The pilot knows the something. Spoiler, this is not a good game. <laughs> there are dogs, don't pet them. Okay, got it. All right. Uh-oh. How did I get spotted? It was dark. I don't know what I'm doing. Like how, I don't understand. Like if they're, I wasn't in the circle, like in the target. I'm not gonna get anywhere in this game. I'm so sorry, but. Oh, you can punch, okay. Uh-oh. That sounded like an alarm, like we got you. shoot you. I'm trying to shoot you. Oh my god, you run out of ammo? Fuck that. I hate that shit. Can I punch this car? Fuck it up. <laughs> okay, see, this makes sense. Like, I don't want the spotlight on me. Ah, we got, we got caught. And we're dead. Anyway, I think that's enough. <laughs> 
Anyway, that was my attempt at Snake's Revenge. Oh, Snoopy Silly Sports. This is gonna be great. Thank you so much, Junior Dax, for subscribing for eight months. Thank you. I'm not missing anything? Well, good. They don't hex. I'm very lucky. Oh, yeah, this was Donald Duck in Japan. That's right. Snoopy! Sack race. It's very cute. I don't get it. Okay, I just had to wait, so I was going too soon. Oh no, Snoopy fell! Hey, how come Woodstock's helping him? He should be helping me, I'm his friend. We're gonna win! Yeah! You have to wait until the green light. Okay, I wasn't. I didn't even see the lights. Okay, let's try boot throwing. We're gonna throw boots. All right, that's interesting. What's your favorite Charlie Brown holiday special? I haven't watched any of them in a really long time, but I remember liking The Great Pumpkin. Hello, Ellie. What was I supposed to do? Oh, you use the D-pad to, okay. Oh, I threw it backwards. <laughs> okay, well now at least I understand. There we go, that was better. All right. So I was boot throwing, now it's Pogo. Uh-oh, he looks scared. <laughs> oh! This is gonna be hard. How do I, it's like awkward. Like if I can't get him over the hump. Like, how come I can do it back there, but it won't let me do it here? I can't go like, whoop. You gotta get used to it, momentum. You're killing Snoopy. I don't wanna kill Snoopy. <laughs> right into his face. Come on. Oh, at least we got over this time. We fell, but we got over. Try it again. Okay, little, okay, too late. Hmm. It's like hard to get the timing right. All right, we're gonna give up on this one. I feel bad, I keep hurting Snoopy. Let's try Overboard. Push me off 
the boat. What are you supposed to do? I'm just tapping A. I pushed him off the boat. Yay. This is violent. I know. I don't think Snoopy would push someone off a boat. Snoopy is nice. All right, let's try a pile of pizza. That's cute. Oh my God, look at all the pizzas. So I, oh no. So I'm just trying to balance all these pizzas and I'm doing a horrible job. We only have three pizzas left. That didn't go well. Okay, last, and then we have river jump. push left and right. Oh, hold A and then push left. Okay, thank you. It's not doing anything. Oh, you tap A. Okay. gonna automatically jump. Oh, we fell in the water. Stop hurting Snoopy. I'm not trying to. When he gets the water hippie and then let go at the top and hold. Okay, thank you, John. Let's try this again. This music's getting to me. I press B and then it just makes him fall. I'm over it. Anyway, that's Snoopy. Snoopy's silly sports. This is stressful, isn't it? Maybe Snoopy deserves it. He pushes people off boats. That's true. That wasn't very nice of him. A Snoopy kebab. That's awful. Snoopy's stressful sports spectacle. That's the better word for it. All right, next up is Snow Bros. It's been a long time since I played this. I don't totally remember everything, but we'll see what happens. The Christmas Hershey's Kiss commercial is back. That's a great commercial. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to Solar Jet Man. Um, Smurfs might be unlicensed, so that's in a separate folder. I'm gonna do unlicensed at the end. It's Bubble Bobble with Snow. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, to make them snowballs. He's scary. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh no, he 
threw the fire at me. Ah, oh, shoot. I wanted to use it on that guy. Okay, so yeah, this is basically just snow bubble bubble, you're right. Okay. Oh shit. I need to stop hitting myself with the... This little bastard. Come back down. shoots ghosts at us. There's ghosts now? This is weird. Have I made a snowman since moving to the cold? I have not. I threw a snowball though, and every and every time it snows, I have to stick my hand in it because it's still so crazy to me. Snow's crazy. the snowball at Mike. I just threw it into the air. And it was very satisfying. Ooh, we got some little treats there. What's that down there? A sandwich or something? No, it's not snowing. Graphics here are a little weird, too much black. I don't think there's too much black, but yeah, it's like I feel like this could have I don't really like how that how anything looks. I don't really like the vibe. But the gameplay is fun. Snow Bros. Oh god, soccer. I'm so bad with the sports games. I have never gone skiing, no. I did- I went sledding once. It was a little scary. <laughs> Alright, insert coin. Oh god. Is this just silent? Am I even playing right now? And this is licensed? <laughs> They're all like, yay! <laughs> How do I play it? It's not letting me play it. I'm pressing start. It doesn't work. And I think it's glitched. So this ROM doesn't work. So no soccer. I'm sure you're all very disappointed. Next, it's Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship. I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But we must play it because it is on the list. Mike played this game the whole way through and I don't understand how a human can deal with this for that long. Okay, tiger bug. Thanks for letting me know. Hello, 12 pack Tommy. Alright, here we go. One of the games that I hate the most Solar Jetman. This 
So if I remember correctly, you just have to like tap very slowly. Like you can't rush in this game because a spaceship goes all over the place. Like it's like hell to control. It's like a little egg from hell. Okay. Just doing little movements, slow movements. Oh, I'm going too fast, I think. No, 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 no. See what I mean? Ah! Yay. And then we collect, um, I know you collect, like, uh, items. Shit, you're going too fast. We're going too fast. Like this diamond. Okay, so now we have this. And now we have to bring it back to the ship. And we can also run out of fuel. Oh god, now we're just the- okay, so now we're just- we lost our plane- I mean our plane. <laughs> we lost our ship. And now we have to go back to our spaceship to get another spaceship. So let's go back in here. Look at him go. Wee. So we got another- we got another one. Hello Autobot, I'm good, how are you? Retro Gaming Knight says, I like this game. It's exploration heavy and every planet has different gravity. Though it's insanely difficult. Took me almost 30 years to beat. I don't know how you do it. I just, I can't. Hello, Mike. You lost the egg. I know. Well, we're going to get a new one right now. Pew. Pew. Let's go try to get some, that diamond. I don't know how to go downwards without going fast. Like, how do you do it without, like, going crazy fast? I don't get it. Okay, so let's get this. This is the shield, if I remember correctly. Alright, and now we gotta bring it back. Come on, you can do it. Come on, go the way I'm telling you to go. I hate you. We're gonna get hit. I can't get out of here! close now. Come on, you can do it. Don't fail me now. Come on. Go up. Why aren't you going up? I'm pressing up. Okay, go up, 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 up. Oh my god. So close. Go the right way. I hate you. Why? Okay, go go this way. Come on. Okay, go down. Fucking finally. Holy shit. Your probes are now equipped with shields. Tight. We got a shield. But it goes away when you shoot. Okay, that's kind of stupid. Bong. Why don't more girls play Solar Jetman, Aaron? Because it sucks. Ah, uh, fuck you. 
And now, now I lost my ship. Maybe I should just let this guy die. Put him out of his misery. We're going back in. Top 10 games with probes. <laughs> Hello, quietest mouse. Don't lose focus. The feminine urge to play Solar Jetman. <laughs> this, okay, so I just hit down. Maybe I gotta hold down, down? No, I don't know. It goes away after a while. Maybe you gotta, no. Why am I still playing this? Okay, let's try to get that diamond that we saw earlier. Burn. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going really slow. Oh, you fucker. Come on, we gotta bring the diamond back. I don't understand. Fucking hell. Bong, bong, bong. Go, go. This is so frustrating. Okay, come on. Just little, I'm gonna do, take it slow, little taps. I'm doing little taps, but I'm still just flailing about the ship hit is heavier when it's carrying items yeah but like oh my God. yay we got two items now Let's go back in here and I'll try to remember to keep the shield on. It's a rough game. The gravity stuff takes a good 20 hours to get down. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know where else there's stuff from what I remember. So you just, you fly around so fast. It's like, it's hard to get the right momentum. Twenty-four hour stream. No. Fuck you. Ah! Where's the other objects? Isn't there a black hole or something? No. Who's shooting at me? Bong. Whatever, just let me die. I give up. Oh, there's the black hole. Look at his little legs. Can I go in there? Uh, maybe I need a spaceship to go in there. That sucks. 
I feel like it's easier to- oh, fuel. And I'm dead. Oh, I got my ship back. That's tight. You fucker. Oh, it only gives you like one hit. Okay, I guess I need the ship to get the fuel. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. I'm like gripping the controller with anger. <sighs> Let's try to find that area. No, not here. Slow down, I can't slow down. Stupid ass fuel. So, do I have it now? I don't know. Okay, now I have it. And I guess I have to bring it back. No, why did I lose it? No! No, I have to bring it back to the stupid ship. So many orbs. Why are there so many orbs on the screen? This Fuck you. I'm gonna go insane. There's bats now? What was that? An owl? Looks like the fire's coming out of his ass. Why am I still playing this? I think she played this longer than any other game today. Really? What is wrong with me today? So you start out so fast. I hate it. Fucking orb. Where's this stupid ass fuel? I'm gonna get it. Gone. Why aren't I getting it? Fucking hell. Yeah, put me right next to all the orbs. It's great. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, Elros. 
All right, so that is Solar Jetman. I can't believe I played it as long as I did. Oh God. Next up is Solomon's Key. This needs to be a future Aaron stream where I'm just playing Solar Jetman for like two hours. Can you imagine? I would go crazy. Do you secretly love Solar Jetman? Um, no, but I was kind of addicted to it. Like, I, I was, like, destined to get all the items to the stupid spaceship. I don't know. Okay, so this is Solomon's Key. It's a puzzle game. Um, it takes me a second to get used to it, because it's been a while. But you're basically breaking blocks and making blocks and I'm not too good at it but we're gonna play it hey we got the little bell and now we can exit Is this the one that the Aaron Plays game is a hack of? No, that's a hack of, I forget what it's called, but it's a Famicom game. This game gets insanely hard later, I believe it. I've never gotten too far in it. Oh, I hate this one. I always forget what I do here. Shit. Okay, not that. No. All right, let's see. Okay. Shit, no! Mm. There's an Aaron Plays game? Yeah, um, a few years ago, John Riggs made a hack of where it looks like me. Um, and, like, he made, like, an NES game of Aaron Plays. It was pretty cool. That was really nice of him. I have the cartridge. I can show it to you guys in a minute. This one's hard. What kind of game would you make if you could easily do it? That's a hard question. Um, probably... Um, a side-scroller, like a platformer, or, um, or like a shmup, like a cute em up I'd make a cute em up that's what I would make. We should hack Aaron into Grimace's birthday, oh my goodness. Kuropi Doom, oh my god, Kuropi running around with a shotgun. That would be great. Or Hello, I want a Hello Kitty running around with a shotgun. And Doom. I want to play Doom as Hello Kitty. That, that's what I want to play. We need to get on that level as a society where I can do that. Okay, I'm going to try to kill this thing. Nope. Okay. I think I just dodge it. I don't remember what you do here. Watch out for the ghosty! Got the key! Uh... No! That sucks. I knew I was gonna 
die there. I found a reference to the Aaron Plays hack. She collects cereal. Yes, that's what it is. I could stream that again. I haven't... I streamed it once, but I don't know... That was a long time ago. I think that was before I started uploading uh, my streams to Aaron Plays Extras. Who would win in Doom Deathmatch? Kropi or Hello Kitty? That's a really hard question, because I love them both. And I think Hello Kitty has pent-up aggression, but I think Kuropi might have more because he's like the quiet, awkward one. So I think Kuropi might win. It's always it's always the quiet, nice ones you never suspect. And I, I think Kuropi would win. But yeah, I can play the Aaron Plays hack one day. That would be fun. Hello, Tanuki. I'm just stretching my hands a bit. All right, so that was Solomon's Key. It's a cool game. It just takes a while to get used to the rhythm of it. Um, but it, it's good. It's good. It just, it gets really hard. So next up is Solstice. Somebody in the beginning of the stream was excited for Solstice, and now it's finally time for Solstice. This is a weird game, and I don't really understand it. It's, a, it's wild. Solstice is a great game. Everyone loves Solstice. Jeremy Cricket says, my time has come. Solstice is very much like Rare's old ZX games, even though it isn't. Okay. You remember the cover art for this? It's pretty interesting, honestly. It's just damn hard. Alright, well, let's see what this is like. Shadax? Is his name Shadax? Shadow? Okay, so of course the princess gets captured and now we have to save her. Morbius! That's a sick name. She is to lose her soul that I may become powerful beyond your comprehension. Okay, so we're this little wizard. We're walking around. So the arrow says, oh, sorry. So the arrow says to go that way. So I guess we're gonna go that way. Can you jump? Oh, okay. Well, we can't go up there. Oh my God. Little blobs. Uh. No! <gasps> we disappeared! No, go this way. Okay. This is interesting. Did I press that there? Okay, I'm gonna push it somewhere else. Hello, Zen Arcades. Oh, the arrow just indicates a door, so it's not like you have to go that way. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, um, let's try to jump on this half circle thing. Okay. I can't. Am I stuck? I'm gonna die and see if it puts me somewhere else. You can't jump over those? I don't know how to pick it up. I don't get it. I don't know. And it's like, I'm stuck here because I can't jump on anything. 
I, I fucked myself by like pushing these where they did. It's like, I don't get it. I'm too stupid for this. Stand on it, stand on it and press B. Like the green thing. Hello, uh, Yugi Master. And no, this isn't a homebrew. This is a um, act. This was released during the NES era. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so I think we went here. And we went here. And then I jumped over these guys or something. Damn it. Okay. So I'm gonna jump on it. Okay, so now I have it. I'm gonna put it where am I gonna put it? I don't even know. I'm gonna put it here. I still can't jump up there? Uh, can I pick this up? Come on, jump up there. Okay, now I have that. I, I was trying to place it on top. I want to put it on top of the bowl. <laughs> you gotta stack them. Jump on the other one to do it? Okay. Oh! Okay. That's how you do it. The controls are kind of weird to me, so thank you. All right, let's go in this door, I guess. Okay. Great, this is gonna be awkward. <sighs> so I think I have to do this like fast. There we go. Yay, we got a magic key! I don't know what we're gonna do with it. The demo was demonstrating some stuff. Oh, well, I skipped the demo. <laughs> Takes to getting a little used to, but it's a real amazing game. But then I say Mule is amazing and you hate this game. Well, this seems like a game. Mule, I just... I can't understand it, but this I get. I understand why people could like this. This needs a remake or another sequel. That would be interesting if they remade it. Ooh, more shapes. Hmm. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, the soundtrack's pretty good. This is my first time ever playing this. Okay, I don't know what to do here. Can I? No, oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I take the box with me to another room? Uh oh. Goblins, let's get out of here. Okay, now we're here. I guess I'll go out this door. Uh oh. No. I keep getting stuck in the same place. You can't bring a box into another room. Okay. Uh, shit. What was I supposed to do there? I 
I'm so bad at games like this. I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know if it's for me, but I can understand why people really like it. Yes, this kind of isometric puzzle adventure game was very popular on this Becky. Oh, the, the ZX Spectrum. There was a Batman game just like it that's completely forgotten about these days. Oh, I wonder if it's like the one on PC Engine. Batman the Cape Crusader, which is even more forgotten about. What's that one? Let me look that up real quick. Oh, this is weird. On the Amiga? I've never seen this before. Huh. I'm looking at the demo. I will watch the demo. Solstice! I'm a wizard! The music's really intense. Ooh, look at him go. Okay. Oh, he's making blocks appear? You should get yourself a wizard hat. Mike has a wizard hat. I don't have a wizard hat. Maybe I need one and I can cast spells. All right, so, okay, I get it. It's it's cool, it's a cool concept. I'm too stupid for it, I don't know. So that's Solstice. Next up is Space Shuttle Project. Okay, so this one, um, I, I, had a, I looked up a playthrough of it on like World of Long Plays or one of those and because I went, I went through this list briefly yesterday just to prepare myself mentally for what I'm getting into and I was like, why can't I start the game? So. I'm gonna enter the same name and number they entered on that playthrough because I don't understand why you have to enter a code to start the fucking game. I understand if you need to enter a code for a password or something, but to start the game, why do you need a code? That is stupid. Makes no sense. It makes me want to look at the instruction manual and it's, it's so you won't pirate it? Copy protections? That's weird. Thanks for hanging out, games and movies. Have a good night. That's really weird. Okay, so I guess it's anti-piracy, but... So this guy put... I don't know if you have to use the same name, but I'm gonna copy the playthrough. So he said his name was Jag. Remember that TV show, Jag? That was, like, one of the most boring things I've ever seen when I was a kid. Like, sometimes my parents would watch it, and I'd be like, ugh. Okay. Jag. Now, how do I enter the code? I guess... Oh, end. So the code 4937 this guy put in. Do I have to wait till it gets to the nine? It's hard to see. This is horrible. Oh, it counts down. Shit, I chose the wrong number. Shit, I did it twice. Fuck you. This is so stupid. Like, why Why do they have to do the numbers like this? It can't even fucking see it. Okay, so the number four, I gotta pause it on four, eight, nine. Okay, four and then nine. Like, they're making it a test to play this game, and the game's gonna suck ass. Shit, I chose eight. <sighs> that dude looks like Michael Ian Black. Thank you, Hex. Whoever made this game has never made a game before. 
Are there good Dragon Ball games on NES? Uh, I think there's one game, but in America it wasn't called Dragon Ball. It was called something else, but I don't remember what it's called. But I think it's on the NES. If you can beat Castlevania Chronicles, you can do this. The login screen, it's a hurdle for this game. Yeah! Like, I've never seen anything like this. This is ridiculous. You can barely see the fucking number. Like, why can't I just enter in the numbers down there like I did the name? I'm, like, really upset. This is really upsetting me. Who had the audacity to think this was okay and release it? Okay, four. Now, I gotta, I gotta get this number nine. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can't see. Oh, I got the nine. I got the nine. Okay, three. Okay, I gotta adjust my eyeballs. Three. Yeah. Okay, now we need seven. Fuck yeah. Okay, and then discovery. No, I chose Endeavor! <sighs> oh my god. Hello, Photon Earth. I am on a mission to God, from God, to get into this fucking game. I've never experienced anything like this. This is ridiculous. I wanna, like... Write a fucking essay about this. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I can. I did it once, I can do it again. Hello, son of one. It's actually not that bad of a game. This part is just kind of stupid. That's insane. This is bonkers to me. Okay. Concentrate, Aaron. Focus your eyeballs. Four. Ninety-nine. Shit, I missed it. Yeah, nine. Okay, now I need three. Yeah, now I need seven. Okay, discovery. Discovery. Shit! Okay. Yes! What? That's the code. In the playthrough I watched, they entered that. Why didn't the four light up? I'm gonna look this shit up again. I'm like... What is this called? Space Shuttle Project, right? <sighs> the game flashes a code, you are supposed to repeat it back. Oh, really? The code number lights up before you put it down? I don't understand. I'll try it one more time, and then... If it doesn't work, I'll just, I'll let it, I'll, I'll be, um, I will give up. And I will be okay with that. Yeah, the code and ship are unique for each playthrough. Okay. I don't, I just, I don't get it. I don't under, 
understand. Oh, it, it flat. It gives you a code. And now it's calling me a spy. What the fuck? This is really bizarre. <laughs> like this is so weird. Why do we have to do this? Because I want to unlock this game. I can't let this beat me. Is it 5693? Is that the code? It looks like it says 5693. Nope. Where's the fucking code? Five, six, nine, three. Okay. Oh, so I enter it. Okay. So five, six, nine, three. Was it discovery? I hope it was discovery because I'm going to choose discovery. We did it! Release surveillance satellite. Holy shit. I have never had an experience like that with the game before. Like what, what was that? I am flabbergasted. That is the only word that I can think of. Do real astronauts have to do this before they start the engine on the space shuttle? <laughs> I like how people are clapping. <laughs> Holy shit. You have to- you're proving you're not a spy by repeating a code we gave you. Top-notch security. Oh my god. Fuel and board shuttle. Enter the elevator. Oxygen fuel switch on. I gotta remember all this. Hydrogen fuel switch on. Open orbiter hatch. Board all crew members and enter the orbiter hatch. Uh. What? All right, whatever. We're just we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Okay, so we enter the elevator, oxygen fuel switch. See what I don't fucking know. We're going up the elevator. Do I go in here? No, I go oxygen fuel switch. Did I do it? Oh, then it also said hydrogen, right? But hydrogen doesn't have a switch. Or is this a switch? Oh, it's the flashing. Okay, I just see that. Oh, and now I do this one. Let me do it again. This is so weird. Get the crew, okay, how? Are they like down here? Where's the crew? Oh, is that all of them? Hope so. Cause we're going up. Yay, we did it. I think. This is great. Top 10 elevators. You know what? That's a good contender. <laughs> I need to make that video, seriously. Okay. Space shuttle launch. Roll 120 degrees. Like, like roll like with the dice. SRB separation. I don't know what that means. Main engine cutoff. ET separation. Fire OMS number one. Fire OMS number two and open cargo doors. Like what? <laughs> what? 14. 14. 14. 
Ah! I don't know. It's counting down. We're all gonna die. We're going. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh shit. Oh, do I? Okay, I think. Oh. I'm supposed to like stop it. Shit. I get it. I get it. Oh. I don't get it. I don't get what to do there. What does this mean? Shuttle launch aborted. Crew eject safely. Orbiter destroyed. Can I try it again? Are you gonna make me enter a code? I'm gonna enter in this fucking code again. 6324, okay. Was it 324, I think? It is so hard for me to see this. Oh, shit, what stupid ship was it? Fuck. It was an Endeavor? <sighs> okay, 6936 Enterprise. Okay. 6936, Billion dollar orbiter you just blew up. I'm sorry. All right, let's do this again. The music is so stressful. Oh, shit. Get the crew! Shit! Just made it with four seconds to spare. Okay, now I don't totally understand this part. I'm gonna try it again. 14, I wonder if the cast of Voyager ever had an orgy. I feel like they probably did. That's a that's a question for Mike. I'm sure he knows. All right, let's see if I can do this. Thrust meets speed up. Okay, so I guess I just press the D-pad to the right. I don't know what I do at that part. I think I just go press right. Like that, right? God, we're in space. We're in space. We're in space. Shit. Okay. 
Oh god, we're going to the right. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> What's this? Oh, more thrusting? It's like I, I can't look at the ship. I'm looking at the arrows. Wow, we did it! Oh my god, we did it! We're flying in space! Extra, extra vehicular activities. Release satellite, put satellite in orbit, open solar panels. We're gonna release a satellite! Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? What do I do? I don't know what I do. It's not telling me what I do. I guess I'm just gonna press A. <laughs> Okay, not, okay, so I get it now. I gotta wait for these guys to pass. Come on, you can do it. Don't hit the moon. You can do it. Fuck you. How, how am I gonna navigate? How am I gonna know? Oh, you can dodge things? You can move it around? Why is there so much traffic in space? No! It's so slow! I was trying to move it to the right. I'm scared. Like, how, how am I going to do that? You can slow it down? Oh shit, okay. I didn't think to try that. Uh, alright, here we go. Oh, you don't know. Well, we'll find out. Oh, you can. You can speed up and slow down. Yay! Oh my god, there he goes. What was wrong? We we launched the satellite and the dude came out. What what else is there to do? The solar panels didn't fully extend. Oh my gosh. Shuttle missing fails. Task force to investigate equipment malfunction. <sighs> that was difficult. Yeah, so I guess I was supposed to go like all the way up and with enough room between other satellite thingies to um uh, extend the things. All right, I'll move on, but this was definitely interesting. I, this was quite the, um, experiment. <laughs> like, I've never had a game where you had to enter a code like that. That was really weird. That was very strange. I will guide you if you ever want to go back to, oh, thanks, Brisby. I would go back to this. I'm going to write it down because... Well, a space shuttle mission, right? This could be a fun, like, stream. Because I'm a crazy person. Hello.
hello, E-Take. I kind of like, I don't, I just, I don't know if I like this, but I've never played anything like this before. And it's kind of, I kind of, okay, how do I explain this? I don't even know my feelings. So basically, at first I felt offended that you have to enter a code to play the game. It's like, ooh, you have to make it elusive and like difficult. Like you can't just fucking press start. Like what, what gives you the right to make it difficult? But because it's like kind of a bitch to start the game, it makes it like you want to play it more. You know what I mean? It's like it makes you want to try it more. It's a very different from the norm as far as NES games go. Yeah. It felt the same way, but I stuck to it and beat it. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's rewarding. It's so- it's- this is nuts. So, that- that got written down. Okay, and next we have Spelunker. Let's go Spelunking. This game looking interesting, most difficult part was obviously starting it. Surprised it doesn't self-destruct your NES when you put in the wrong code. I know, that's what it felt like it was gonna have. Spelunker! Fall d oh, is there a crazy fall damage in this? That's fall damage? That little amount? jump. I don't know how I feel about this. This is no space shuttle project. Oh, how the hell am I gonna get across that? Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. This is kind of deflating after the space shuttle game. I'm sorry. You rented this one's little mixer? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Hello, Midnight Snowman. Alright, let's try it one more time. I'm gonna turn it down slightly. Because for me, it's really loud and it's, it's too much right now. <laughs> that space shuttle game broke. Fuck! That space shuttle game broke my brain. What's this game? This is Spelunker. Wait, I gotta go over here. Oh god. F fuck you! That is not- fall damage! Oh, my knee hurts. I was sitting strangely. Have I ever been spelunking? No, I have not. It's not something I wish to do. You liked this game in the 80s, that's cool. Yeah, and there's no continues. It's like, it's pretty brutal. I feel like today I'm spending more time with each game, but I don't know, most of the games we're playing, I'm just like, I wanna sit with them for a while today, I don't know. I hate, hate. Okay, there we go. Like, this isn't bad, it's just a little bit annoying. Ah, fuck. I don't want to get trapped in a cave. I'm so scared of that. Like, when people climb into, like, tight spaces and stuff. No. No, 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 no. I'll try this one more time and then we'll move on. I'm gonna go down here since we already saw that part like 30 times. Fuck, I keep falling in the same place. Oh, 
Okay, maybe I run and jump? But... This game's pissing me off. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, happy birthday, E-Tank. I hope you had a really good day. I hope you had a slice of cake. Or perhaps a cupcake. Or some pie. Hope it was a good day. Did you know there are caves underneath Las Vegas where people live? I did not know that. Las Vegas caves, that, that sounds terrifying. Anyway, it's time for Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. This is not my real hair color. I am a fake redhead. I, I don't remember what this game's like. I know I must have played it before, at least tried it out, but I'm blanking on, um, on, like, what kind of game it is, you know? Electro takes charge of the situation. Look at Spider-Man, he's doing, like, a little flip or something. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, this one! Okay. Oh my god, he exploded into pieces. I hit him so hard. That was brutal. Look at him climb. <laughs> I forgot about this game. Thank you so much, Baldy Bloke, for subscribing to Tier 3. Thank you for 20 months. Thanks so much. The controls are really bad in this. This looks like shit. Is he fall damage? No. Okay, I was gonna say Spider Man can't. Ah! I want you to explode into pieces. Why are, the controls really are bad. Holy shit. Look how long his reach is. It's like the most awkward punch I've ever seen. Like, it's like slow and long. It's weird. Okay, do I gotta climb this lamppost? I'm gonna fight crime. Oh, I, I shot him with a web? I didn't- when did I get that? Look at him go. It reminds me, so at Disney California Adventure, um, they have like a Spider-Man animatronic that like flies like into a building and it looks like a real person. And one time it just- it flew into the side of the wall and it was really funny. Because I hate Avengers Campus. I think they did a really shitty job. And I pretty much hate everything Disney does now. But I thought that was really fucking funny. This, like, really expensive... Like, instead of making a, r a good ride, they're like, Oh, let's just make this animatronic that flies. And it just went right into the wall. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it was, it's so fucking funny. I have no idea what that is, Yugi Master. Hello, classic Mike Cade. Anyway, I just had to share that story because it, it made me laugh really hard. It's probably on YouTube. Oh, can I get up there? Can I climb? Can I climb up here? Oh, I can. Look at that. That's right. You explode into pink pieces. That's so graphic. Like, why does that have to be pink? Doesn't that seem graphic? Like, it just makes you think of guts. Like, ew. I don't, I don't like it. Can I- how the fuck- Oh, come on. Okay. Come on. There we go. What? It's so- like, you can't tell what's an obstacle sometimes and what's the background. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like electricity or water coming- like- is that- I think it's supposed to be electricity. Look at this! We're just jumping! And it's like all these pink guys. Oh! How did I do that? Ooh! Look at that! Look at us go! <laughs> How did I do that? Okay, like that. Whee! Look at us go!
And you have to like stand so far back to hit, to punch. It's so bad. Like you can't punch and jump at the same time. Fuck this. Now we're underground. This is just so bad. Oh god. Get out there! Get out there. Oh, we're finally dead. Alright. Darn, time to move on. Oh god, to spot. This game, you like have to match the colors, right? I'm trying to remember what this is. Am I Spider-Man? At night, I turn into Spider-Man. <sighs> Time to move on to Scastlevania 3. I see what you did there, you think. All right, so I need to make all these spots yellow. And then, I, and then I think you can go multiple spaces. I'm not totally sure. Can I go to like down here? No, that's too far. Oh, do I have to like touch it first? And then, oh, and then drag it, okay. And I'll go down here. Can I go like up here? Oh, look at a roller skate. Oh, he moved the whole thing. He didn't like put another one down. I don't totally get this, to be totally honest. I'm like. Okay, and now he's gonna turn mine blue. Well, I'm gonna die. I lost. Anyway, I don't like this game. That is spot. Okay, and then next up we have... Spy Hunter. I did not see the marbles, no. How are my hands? They're okay. Not great, but I'll play a few more. The actual name of this game is called Virus. It's played with Othello chips. Okay. I don't know much about Othello except that there's a billion Oth Othello games, but I've never played it, so I don't know what it is. Oh my god, you guys. Squoon's coming up. Skloon. I'm excited for Skloon. Well we, well, we better get through Spy Hunter and Spy vs. Spy so we can play some Skloon! What the people want. Oh my god, Street Fighter 2010. I fucking hate that game. Like, the first screen makes me insane. I'm not looking forward to that. Alright. How do I go? Okay. Whoa! Woo! We're going fast. Lightning McQueen over here. How come you don't blow up? Do, like, only the red cars blow up or something? I am so bad at this. I'm, I've never been very good at this game. Like, it's too fast, this part. I can't do it. My eyes can't follow. <laughs> oh, fuck you, you knocked me off the road. Ah, 
shit. We're going so fast. See, now, now the game sounds quiet, but the previous games were just, they felt like way too loud. Oh my God, I went in the truck. <laughs> All right, so that's Spy Hunter. I, it, I can't, I can't. We all know Spy Hunter. That's Spy Hunter. Yay. You have this on Apple too and like that version more than this one because it played slower and you could avoid stuff. See, that sounds better. Like the concept I'm fine with, but it's just, it's, it's too fast and it pisses me off. Hello, Dread Alien. Even Sun Sauce bad games are fun. Like the Batman game where the power-ups are unimplemented and don't do anything. Which Batman game is that? Sunsoft ported this to NES, which is why they fixed their mistake with Super Spy Hunter. Oh. Alright, so next up is Spy vs. Spy. So I was really afraid of Mad Magazine when I was a kid because I didn't like that guy on the front. Like, I still find him scary. And seeing these Spy vs. Spy guys also kind of freaked me out. Like, I associate them with, like, the Pep Boys. Yeah, Alfred E. Newman, like, I, Alfred E. Newman just scares the shit out. I don't, I don't like it. And in my head, these guys are friends with the Pep Boys, and I don't like them. So I, I really don't want to be playing this right now, because it creeps me out. I can't explain it. They creep me out. Anyway, let's play it. Yeah, and Popeye's nephews. I don't like them either. There's a sequel to this game? Really? Hello, Naked Snaked. Did I like Blaster Master on NES? I never really got the hang of it. I've tried it multiple times and I could never get into it, really. But I know a lot of people like it. It's just, I don't think it's for me. We're learning things that scare Aaron. Yeah, you're right. Spy versus Spy is one of them. Okay, so I think we, like, hide stuff under furniture. I don't know. Like, what do I do? I don't get it. I don't understand. Oh my god, I got electrocuted, and now I'm dead. Even this game is creepy! So I have a bomb, right? What do I do with it? Oh my god! I don't like this game, it's creeping me out! This might as well be a Pep Boys game. I'm just like fighting this other guy. I do not understand it at all. You booby trap something then open it. But like, I don't understand how you place it down. Do I hate Rocky and Bullwinkle? I don't hate Rocky and Bullwinkle, but I'm not a fan. Okay, so you go from room to room and lay traps. You're also looking for a doser and a key to an airplane. Okay, so I'm gonna hide a trap there. And under this, did I do it right? Okay, now I'm in another room. I'm gonna hide one under the bookcase. Okay, I hid something, cause he giggled. Okay. Oh no, there's an airplane. I died? I thought I was supposed to get the airplane. Or maybe I fell for a trap. I don't, 
understand. I don't understand it, and I don't like it. But you know what I do like? Squoon! You need like a briefcase, a passport, and a key. Oh, you can't go in the airplane without the key. Okay. Everyone, it's squoon time! Mayday! Mayday! Neptunians have invaded Earth. They are melting the ice caps and the co continents are sinking. It went too fast. Anyway, let's see if I remember how to play this. I like that there's palm trees and like a little buildies underwater. That's cute. And I'm just killing all the fish for some reason. Oh yeah, then something with the crab. You get fuel, I think, and then you save people also. Like, what's that thing? Do I bomb it? Oh, do I grab this? Or is that a bomb? I don't know. I don't understand. Like, do I grab that shiny orb? I don't know. I think the submarine's really cute. It's a cute little pink submarine. I don't know. I just like to say the word squoon and everyone's like been mentioning squoon so we're playing squoon. Does not Ernie have one of those? Oh a little pink submarine? He does actually. It is very fun to say. Alright let's try it one more time. Look at this little town down here. Like, what's happening? I think I'm supposed to, like, throw a bomb on the crab. But I don't... It's hard to do. There's so much happening in Skloon. I hit the crab. Okay, so I get that. Was that good? Or was that... Oh, I'm up here now. Why am I up here? Oh, I gotta get the dudes. I gotta get the dudes. I didn't get them. I'm so sorry. I didn't save the people. Like, how am I supposed to get down there that fast with all the fish going around? I can't do that. Why are all these fish so aggressive? Ah, shit. We're dead. I'm sorry, guys. So anyway, that is Squoon. And thank you so much, Wolfmaster, for taking care of that. All right, well look at that beautiful, look at the mermaid. She's topless, that is not appropriate for Twitch. But we're rebellious here on Aaron Place. Oh my God, that beeping. Ah! Is this the game with Rob the Robot? Stack up, isn't it? Okay, so I can't play that, right? Because you have to use Rob the Robot. I've never used a Rob the Robot, actually. I should probably do that. I've just, I've never used one. I know people say it sucks, but like, I need to try it. All right, so I'm gonna skip stack up because you need to use Rob the Robot and I sadly don't have Rob the Robot next to me. Oh God, stadium events. Ugh. Wait, is this the one? Is this the power pad one? No. Is it? It is the power pad one? Okay, so we can't do stadium events either, but if you want to see me do that, this is the one I did for a video. Aaron plays power pad if you want to see me have an asthma attack playing stadium events. Next is Stanley the search for Dr. Livingston. What the hell is this gonna be about? I'm scared. 
Oh god, Electro Brain, here we go. Look at this. You have this game, Katrine? My cousins had Rob. All I would do was drop the crap on the floor it was supposed to be using to control the game. Yeah, everyone that had one says it sucks. Like, I've never heard anything good about it. But he's so cute. He's just a little robot. Can you play Space Shuttle with the power pad? I don't- I don't know. That would be quite the, uh, mission. Can you imagine if I did that? <laughs> Having dispatched my duties at the newspaper, once again I find myself going over Dr. Livingston's notes. By now, no one including myself could hope to see Livingston again. Still, I'm haunted by thoughts of what fate may have befallen the good doctor. I've been assigned to the most dangerous news story of my life, to determine what happened in the Mesa jungle. Alright. Well, this is not for me. Oh, oh my god, you're like a shirtless man? Wait, where- no, you're the dude up here? What is this? I've never seen this before. Look at him! When he punches. I'm scared to go down there. There's like a dude with a sword and a shirtless guy with a hat. I gotta fight the shirtless guy? What if I don't win? Don't wait for me, Captain. I'll be staying. I I thought you might. Good luck, sir. So he's chill. I don't fight him. The jungle is surrounded by cliffs. Mr. Stanley? Yes. Your supplies are here, but the grapnel and the machete have been stolen. Well, that sucks. This guy has a peg leg. If you are entering the jungle, search for a grapnel. I don't know what a grapnel is. Like a grappling hook? Whoa. We have a little helicopter. Top 10 run cycle animation. <laughs> Good day, ma'am. Hello. This is so... I've never seen this before. This game is just called Stanley. Do I fight this guy? Don't go into the jungle without first speaking with Chillo. A grapnel is for boats? Okay. Well, if it isn't my old pal Stanley. Sir Jeffrey, I need your help. I'm going to find Dr. Livingston. Can you help me? He stayed with me before entering the jungle. I haven't heard from him since. I told him what I know about the temple. But he knew more! Locals say a mutt still haunts the jungle. Alright. This is, I mean, at least this is kind of interesting. Oh my god! I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm gonna fight him. Yeah! Oh, did I get a spear now? Is this the guy? I knew it was Chillo. I know why you've come. You follow the other one who sought a temple. Yes, can you help me? You must find the grapnel just north of town. The Kelkas mark the path to the temple. Okay, I. This is. It's whatever. I don't know. I've played worse. We've been good, Chris. I hope you've been good too. Anyway, I don't even know what to say about that. It's like, it's fine. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Okay, next up is Star Force. 
it's a game, exactly. I'm like, it's a game. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Okay, so this is a shmuppy shmup. How come I can't pick that up? Do I shoot the power-ups, maybe? Star Force is good. No! Yeah, this doesn't seem bad. Like, I don't understand how to get the H, whatever, is that health or whatever? Like, I don't understand why I can't pick it up. What hit me? <laughs> oh, you shoot the- you shoot it to destroy it, okay. Star Force was good for its time, but it's very dated and hard to come back to now. Super iconic, though. That's cool. It's one of the OG vertical scrolling shooting games. Oh, okay. No, oh, this is a NASA game. Let's try it over time. I shot the H. I shot the B. Which I'm guessing is bomb. Case B. I don't know what that stands for. Ah, what do those arrows mean? Uh oh. Oh no, it came from behind me. Better than Silver Surfer. The mid-boss can be destroyed by shooting the core quick quickly right after it flashes for super mega gamer cred and a shit ton of points. Okay, I'll, I'll try to do that. And I died. We'll see if we make it there. Shit! Anyway, alright. Well, I didn't make it there, but that's cool. So that was Star Force. And next up, we have Star Soldier. It's kind of basic to- yeah, it, it's fine. <laughs> okay, Star Soldier. Shit! Let me do it again. <laughs> My hands are getting a little tired, so I'm gonna blame it on that. <laughs> ah. Can I go through that? This is weird. Alright, so that's Star Soldier. It's a bootleg sequel to Star Force. Hudson was like, I made this to Tecmo Star Force. The enemies include killer shrimp with hammers in this game? S 
Star Force and Star Soldier are games you should never play without auto fire. Your hands would not survive. Yeah, I'm like, that's why I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm not gonna keep going with this. <laughs> uh, okay, and next up we have Star Trek 25th Anniversary. I think, is this the one that's supposed to be? No, the, um, the next gen one is supposed to be the bad one, I think. Not really, RJ. I don't know much. You're not gonna like this one, I can already tell you. Yeah. I, this is the one where it's all talking, right? Captain, now entering Sigma I, Iota system. Slow to impulse, Mr. Sulu. Hey, sir. It's sort of a point and click. Okay, yeah, I won't like it then. <laughs> oh, Captain, we are encountering an area of very unstable turbulence. Uh oh. Scan sector. Sensors indicate unusual fluctuations in gravity and magnetic fields. They appear to be centered near the planet of Sigma Iota. Captain, there's a big hole in space. Spock? Readings are fluctuating greatly. It may be some kind of Dimensional, what? Hold on. Uh oh, we got hit. Captain, something is pulling us toward the hole. Uh oh, you don't want to go towards the hole. Oh, stop, Mr. Sulu. <laughs> it just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> no effect, Captain. We are still being pulled. In the gravitational field is growing exponentially. <sighs> you beat this game back in the day? I want to see if something happens. Mike hated this game and turned it off when he played it. Yeah, he said he hated this game. <laughs> it just keeps going back and forth. <laughs> the stress from the pool is tearing the ship apart. I have to shut down the engines. Before they melt. Oh, is something happening? Aaron, what are your honest thoughts on Squoon? I think it's very, I think it's cute. Um, I think it's okay. I don't think it's bad. I think it's fine. I just forget the mechanic where you shoot. You're supposed to like bomb a crab and get like a little blinky block. But then I don't remember what you do after that. So if I remembered all the rules, maybe I'd like it more. But it's it's fine. I don't know. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's bad. I don't know anything about growing pains. We're not on to no uh I think Zelda 2 isn't under legend. It's just it'd be under Z. All right, I can't do this anymore. I'm tired and this is like just going back and forth and the music's starting to make my brain melt. Oh wait, something's happening. That was the longest introduction I've ever seen for an NES game. What are the games we're seeing tonight? We saw that space shuttle mission, which was quite the interesting experience and then this went back and forth for like a long time <sighs> no
<laughs> Yay! Star Trek! Oh my god, we can start the game now! Seriously, that was just the intro? Even if I, like, really knew Star Trek, like, I know a decent amount about Star Trek, but I don't, like, know a lot. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could sit and read all that. Like, it, it's too much. Shorten it. It's a fucking NES game. Like, come on. What are you trying to prove? <laughs> Start. All right, we're back, we're back. Captain's log, stardate 2831.3. While investigating the strange gravitational disturbances in the Sigma Iota system, the Enterprise was caught in a dimensional gate, unable to break free from its intense gravitational field. Is it just more of this? So you're just reading the story, you're not actually choosing anything or doing anything. Too much to read, said the English major. I think being an English major just ruined me. I'm like, I've read, I, I can't. <laughs> you don't do much until you get to the away mission. Oh, I see. All right, I'm gonna move on. To the next Star Trek game. So this is the next gen one. What did Spock find in the officer's toilet? The captain's log. Good one, Kaplan. <laughs> All right, so now let's see what this one's like. This is the one where you like walk around in like different planets, I think. I don't want to talk about Beowulf. I don't remember like anything about it. I just remember studying that book was one of the most dull and boring moments of my life. That and when I saw A Perfect Storm in theaters, that's another time I remember being extremely bored. I don't know. See, I wasn't a liter- so basically you were an English major and you were either literature or creative writing. I was creative writing. I wasn't a literature major, but I still had to read Beowulf. And oh my god, it sucked. Why must we keep tormenting Aaron about Beowulf? They like to torment me. Alright. Start game. There you go. Stolen cargo is being hoarded on Badger by renegade Ferengi. Not the Ferengi. I know who they are. I know that much. Retrieve the cargo from the planet. Ferengi ships may be in the area. Let's fight some Ferengi. <laughs> I don't... What are we doing? So we saw Worf. He blinked at us. I don't know what I'm looking at. I am not some merry men. I know that reference. See, I know some stuff. What am I doing wrong? Oh, this is how you cycle through the different one. Okay. Let's see what data has to say. Cool. So I don't get it. Like, what is happening here? You needed the instructions for these and many old games. Yeah, maybe if I had the instruction booklet, I'd know what I'm doing, but since I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. 
But I know there's a part. This is the game where you, like, walk around on a planet and collect plants or something. Like, I know that much about this game. I just don't know how you get there. Chief O'Brien. Mike's favorite. Nope, that was the last game. Oh, so this one, it's just... I don't even know what this is. The plant part was the last game. Oh, so I got them confused. So this one, I don't understand. And, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off. Sorry, Chief O'Brien. All right, and I think I'm gonna end it on Star Voyager, and then next stream we will start with Star Wars. So many stars, so little time. All right, Star Voyager. We are voyaging through the stars. Star Voyager. Oh, look at look at that little guy. Look at him go up the ladder. Okay, space station nearby. Oh, is this one of those you press like what the screen tells you to press, and it's like one of those. Oh, we have lasers. I, uh, oh God, target. I thought I'm hitting it. I don't understand. All right. I don't know what's happening. I'm shooting at this thing and it's quiet yeah it's like adventure that's what I was thinking it was adventures in the magic kingdom like okay so now is it close enough can I shoot it I want to shoot something okay now there's more noises happening here yeah that was Mike he's also streaming yeah I think we need the manual for this one all right so I hate to end it on a bummer because that Star Voyager game was kind of a bummer and the Star Trek games were kind of a bummer but um we had we had some good ones uh like I don't know if good is the word, but Space Shuttle Project was unlike anything I've played before. Not necessarily in a good way, but in a way where I want to go back to it. Ski or Die was really fun. Um, let's try to go to space one more time. Snake around on a roll. Looks good. I just, I don't know if I can ever get a hang of the controls for that. Thanks for hanging out, Tomato. Okay, so I want to try to get to space, and then I'll end the stream. <laughs> ska or die? Oh my god, there should be a ska one. Should we go compete? No, wait, I want to go practice, because I want to do, was it, was it the acro aerials, I think? I think it was this. This is the one we were trying to get to space. All right, let's see if I can do it. I don't remember what we do. I think we just like pound the keys. I mean the the button. See, my brain's gone. No, we didn't do it. Oh god, it is he's not angle. Okay, there we go. Darn it. Okay, we did better than I thought we would have. Uh, 
this. We're going to try it again. Why? I don't understand how you get up there. This is another game I need the manual for. I thought I understood it, but I don't. Oh my god, the eyeballs on that one judge. He was scary. Thanks for hanging out, Photon. I wonder if it's button combinations instead of mashing. Oh, maybe. How did you get so high that one time? I don't know. It, like, worked once. We made it, we almost, we made it to space once. I know we can do it again. I think I was pressing buttons and left-right motion. Okay, I'm gonna try that. No. Yeah, well, we got de we got a decent score. We didn't make it a space, but we got a decent score. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing and press the buttons. All right, after this, I'm done. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You think it's a left-right motion during the first screen and the second screen? Oh. Okay, I'll try it one more time. Then one more time. So it's left-right, and then it's the other games. Okay. No? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, Ski or Die was the surprise of the evening because I thought I was going to hate it because I hate Skate or Die. But this was actually kind of fun. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been a really fun stream. Um, we got a lot more to go through the letter S. So this is, I'm probably going to... Um, when I upload this, I'm probably going to stick it with the last S stream and then there'll be like part one, part two and whatever. All right, guys, have a really good night and I'll see you next time. Bye.